the show Free Talk Live. Joining you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. Danica. And Cantwell. And, of course, you can join us online anytime you want over at freetalklive.com, where the features are totally free. In fact, you can actually create the content right there on the front page of the website by submitting and then voting on the things that you'll see there on the front page as submitted by our listeners. Go to freetalklive.com, and you can get interactive there. Coming up, uh, a, a cop in Massachusetts. Chris Cantwell has this story. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it here in a moment. A cop in Massachusetts has falsified an attack on himself. And now the motivations for that, I don't know. We'll explore that here in a moment. But it's an unusual story, and uh, apparently he claims he was shot by an assailant and uh, had to run his car off the road, apparently. Yeah, the the story is that uh, he calls in that he's been shot at on the road and that he had shot back at the assailant and crashed his cruiser and his cruiser went on fire. But it came out today that he had, uh, he had fabricated the whole story. Wow. We'll get into that. Plus, Kermit the Frog is in the news. Now, this doesn't happen very often where the Muppets are making headlines. But, but it's not uh, easy being green, so. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, the Telegraph in the UK has a real quick story that apparently feminists are angry. Did you know Kermit, uh, Kermit the Frog has a new girlfriend? So he moved on pretty fast. Yeah, well, there was a headline a little while back about him breaking up with Miss Piggy, right? I yeah, why wouldn't he? She was a fat pig. Well, it took a long time. I mean, what, decades before he finally broke up with oh, her? Oh, yeah, but... they were probably together before I was even born. And who broke up with who in that situation? I don't know. I wasn't, you know, watching the news carefully. I don't know if, uh, if she broke it up off with him or if uh, Kermit broke it off with Ms. Piggy. But regardless, it's over. And apparently feminists are upset because he has been seen with a new lady. <gasps> a new, thinner younger lady oh no the muppets have turned to body shaming now kermit the frog this from helena horton over at the telegraph in the uk has been spotted out and about with the new lady denise after splitting with his ex-girlfriend ms piggy last month in typical fashion people on twitter had a lot to say about kermit's new lady and while he denies speculation they are romantically linked the pictures appear to tell another story Many have expressed dismay that Kermit the Frog ditched the feminist and fuller-figured Ms. Piggy for a younger, skinnier model who has not yet expressed opinions on the works of Jermaine Greer or Bell Hooks. Some think it was a backward step for feminism. So here come the, uh, the tweets. Uh, this from Scamille. We thought realistic Barbie was a victory, but now we have skinny Pam on Archer and Denise, the younger, oh, and Denise, the younger, hotter pig on the Muppets. Tabitha on... Twitter. So wait, so he's still dating a pig. It's just a young or thinner pig. That's right. Yeah. What's with what's with Kermit and the know, pigs, he's in, dude? Oh, he's into the pigs. They're smart, right? Pigs are real smart. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, so, <laughs> Ms. Lou, uh, or wait, uh, Tabitha on Twitter says, seriously, it made me really mad, especially that they made her young and skinny. It's funny her name's Denise, though. I'm not sure why that's funny. Uh, I don't get it. Interesting, (laughs) says Queenie on Twitter. Interesting, since Ms. Piggy became a feminist, she and Kermit broke up, and Kermit is dating someone younger. So Ms. Piggy was actually a feminist? Well, this is the whole thing. Kermit actually didn't mind that she was a fat pig. The problem was that she was a feminist. That's the deal. reason he broke up with her? I mean, it's the only assumption that I can draw. <laughs> I haven't been keeping up with, like, the puppet days of our lives. No, me but, neither. But, no. you know, at the same time, it makes a lot of sense that if Miss Piggy's going to start attending women's conferences and start speaking about rape culture and the patriarchy, of course anybody with half a brain is going to dump her. Says here, uh, Michelle Caitlin on Twitter says, Kermit couldn't even last a month after Miss Piggy declared herself a feminist. Uh, Some worry about the message it sends out. Patrick Costello writes on Twitter, What kind of message are the Muppets sending now that Kermit is dating a skinny pig? Jim Henson must be doing somersaults. Of course, he's referring to Jim Henson, the uh, long since uh, deceased creator of the Muppets. Uh, And, you know, this goes on. Uh, There's a Woody Allen comparison. Starina Johnson says, Kermit just seems like Woody Allen now. A neurotic skinny frog taking advantage of naive piglets. I'm waiting for, like, the intelligent feminist tweets, but I'm not going to hold my breath. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it just goes on. I don't know. I thought that was an interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I got a kick bit. out of it. But yeah, that's the thing. I, I forget exactly what the context was, but I remember these headlines about like Miss Piggy's a feminist and blah, 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 and I'm like, oh, that inf- explains her annoying tone. So if you want to sh- uh, share your comments on the breakup and Kermit possibly getting together with a, a new, younger, skinnier pig, then uh, you're welcome to join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. So would it be okay, then, if Kermit got together with a more overweight, older uh I mean, they and, would have certainly and he'd pref- be a hero. They would certainly have preferred that because basically feminists just hate everything good. Right. Like if, if Kermit downgraded and his life became worse and he was with an uglier woman, they'd be like, yeah, die male. Right. But the, what, what they're what they're really upset about is that he's upgraded and that uh, and that their little feminist, uh, you know, hero has been dumped. Now, now, the good news for Miss Piggy is she's probably going to drag Kermit through family court and get <laughs> alimony out of him and try to ruin his life Wait, and take his even, babies away. Were they even legitly married or were they just? together as a couple who knows it says here they were girlfriend and boyfriend i don't know if they were married but i mean look they've been girlfriend and boyfriend for decades like i don't know what state they live in yeah Yeah, exactly they're gonna get a common law she's gonna go and she's gonna claim she's gonna be like i know he never married me but we're together forever now he's gonna keep me in the lifestyle to which i'm accustomed (laughs) at least they don't have any kids together then it would just be way worse that would be a weird thing too Oh yeah, a frog mixed with a pig. I'm I'm pretty sure if they had babies, then you'd start seeing the Bible thumpers outside of the Muppet Studios. Like it's an abomination. Well, there uh, the Bible thumpers are certainly outside of the Rowan County Clerk House or Clerk Clerk House, the Rowan County Courthouse. Uh, in uh, wherever the hell that is. Where is this lady with this? We're all we're all this. Uh, I know they talked about it last night on the show. But I, I had the on. I had the story up today. I don't remember what state it was in, but I'm I'm. I'm not happy about the story, and I, and I got mixed feelings about this. Um, this is the lady who works for the state who has refused to process marriage license applications. The county, as it were, but yeah. Yeah, she, well, right. Yeah. When I say the state, the state, the state I mean, apparatus, I understand, yeah. The government. Uh, she works for the county government, and she has refused uh, on some sort of religious basis, supposedly, to do her job, essentially, you know, uh, the job of doing marriage licenses, issuing these certificates, accepting applications, things like that. Bureaucrat stuff, right? Yeah. Shuffling paperwork. That's her job. And she is now, I guess, in jail over this due yeah, to contempt of jail. court. Yeah. Uh, the story here from Kentucky.com is not so much about her, but about the people outside of the federal courthouse uh, erupting into cheers and chants of love wins as they learned Thursday afternoon, that's yesterday, that a federal judge had ordered the county clerk... <laughs> Kim Davis to jail. Now, that seems a little contradictory. I don't know if you can say that love has won when a woman who hasn't hurt anybody physically or, you know, engaged in fraud. Well, outside been, of her collection of, you know, <laughs> extraction from the taxpayers for her sustenance hurt anybody. Well, there is that. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll give outside you that. Outside of that, she's not out bashing skulls for the drug war. Exactly. I mean, she 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 was a government bureaucrat. And, you know, the, the paper shuffling government bureaucrats, some of those people might still have a legitimate role in a, in a marketplace, right? Like, you know, you're still going to need somebody at the uh, insurance uh, company or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like when you buy a piece of property, somebody's got to check the, the survey and make sure that everything's cool with the titles and, and all of that. Um, I don't know if that was part of her job, but somebody will probably be certifying marriages in the absence of, uh, of a state or whatever. And so to... To cheer this on and say that love has won when she's sitting in a jail cell, I feel like they went too far. I mean, I understand she's in contempt, and that's what happens when you are in contempt of court as judges put you in jail cells. But ultimately, I don't think that's something that people should be cheering on as love winning. That's not a loving thing to do. I'm on the uh, same page as you with that. To somebody at all. Now, uh, should she have been able to refuse to do this paperwork? I don't think so. If you take a job with the state... Fire her, problem solved. Yeah. If you've taken a job with the state, you have essentially changed your religion, in my opinion. This is Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. 
I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting, ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue, I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. You're invited here to bring up whatever's on your mind. Whether you want to talk about uh, Muppets dating... Angry feminists are upset because the replacement for Miss Piggy is younger and thinner. You can comment on that or anything you want to discuss here. This lady, uh, Kim Davis is her name, the Rowan County clerk who's now in jail uh, for refusing to essentially do her job. You're welcome to comment there as well. 855-450-FREE or anything that's on your mind. Uncovering the secrets, exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are provided the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments. Freedomsphoenix.com has up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. You can go to freedomsphoenix.com, sign up for the free daily dispatch. That's freedomsphoenix.com. 
uh, Ian Danica and Cantwell in the studio. Let's go to Greg in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live, Greg. Hello. Hello. So I made a bet with a friend of mine recently, and I lost a bet. And I'm wondering if that would be considered a valid contract because I didn't like actually sign anything. I just gave my word that I would pay him if I lost. Yes. And how? You know, we don't. You know, do we have to agree ahead of time, like when I'm supposed to pay him? What was the bet? Keep paying. Um, I bet about Market Basket that it would go out of business by now. And this guy's I a scumbag. I estimated the resilience of New Hang England. Him. He's a scumbag. What yeah, I don't like this guy. Why is that? Because he's making a reference to me, and and I lost a bet to Nemi, who I haven't spoken to in a very long time, and so like I owe her some money. Apparently, uh, she went. She waited to the day <laughs> to post uh, that that I had made a bet with her on September second of of last year that Market Basket would be out of business in a year. So, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, exactly. So, but you know, Nemi, I haven't seen her in a while, and frankly, uh, I'll pay. I'll I'll pay. I'll. Oh, I almost said it. <laughs> I will pay the 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 the, the woman. Uh, How but, much? Uh, How much was the it's a hundred bucks? You know. So, Greg, is that what you're doing? Or are you? you know, I don't. I don't come you? into contact with this fanatic on a regular basis unless she's over here trying to create a problem for somebody. So, why don't you get lost, Greg? Go get a life, loser. Greg, are you really calling to carry water for somebody else? Yeah, he is, is. that what you're doing? No, I'm go hang yourself, in- Greg. Is that what you're doing, Greg? Oh, you're carrying water for? Nice. Yeah, go hang yourself, loser. I, I want to. I want to hear his answer, Chris. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm just curious. But is this like a personal thing? Is that what you're calling a national talk show about? Is a is a personal issue? Yeah, personal. Okay, thanks for the call tonight. Oh, apparently she Don't has jump a, off a building, you loser. Apparently she has other people doing her bidding. It's yeah, interesting. she's probably blew him. She's a former co-host here on Free Talk Live. I generally don't have any reason to uh, to talk about her, but uh, she actually happened to walk by the studio today, as a matter of fact. How'd that go? Uh, she's living uh, just down the street uh, from here. She has decided, uh, I guess, that she just doesn't really care about freedom or anything like that because she has decided to ally herself with a group of people known as Stop Free Keen. It's the only people she hasn't burned the bridges with yet. I mean, this is this yeah. fanatic's problem. I mean, this guy, she probably blew this guy to get him to make a phone call. And then this is what happens is she gets herself into sexual relationships people with people. She's a lunatic, and then she causes problems, and she freaks out, and then people can't be anywhere near her. I mean, she was over here. She burned bridges with everybody. She went out to Manchester. She burned bridges in Manchester. And now what? She's sleeping in a tent in this lunatic's <laughs> backyard down there? Get a life, lady. That She's so desperate. It's it, it, She's just got to find somebody to go and leech off of. And then, she, the, like I you said, know, when she started hanging out with them, it's the best thing that ever happened to us, Ian, because she's going to yeah. run around. She's going to screw their husbands and she's going to break up mm. their marriages and then we're going to see them in their in their stupid Facebook group talking about what a w- w- terrible person she is. Well, I don't read their Facebook group anymore. I used to be a daily visitor to this. It's a local hate group that formed here about a year and a half ago, maybe two years. I don't even know how long it's been. A year and a half, something like that. Anyway, this, uh, this local hate group, uh, they are obsessed with the activists here in the Keene area. For those of you who are new to the show, I want to make sure I set the the stage here a little bit. We um, moved here, all of us on the show tonight, have moved here from different places around the world to uh, to be more active, to achieve liberty in our lifetime, or at least as much as we possibly can. And there are a, a bunch of us, actually. There are th- uh, over 1,800 people who are here now as part of the Free State Project. Chris, you are not here as part of the Free State Project, but you don't have, to be, you don't have to be a part of the Free State <laughs> Project to move to New Hampshire and be around people who care about liberty. In fact, a lot of people are joining the Shire Society at shiresociety.com, signing the Shire Declaration and, uh, and moving here as well. Uh, <clears throat> Nemi, whose real name is Sarah Heineke, uh, is a New Hampshire— Ooh, doxed! is a uh, New Hampshire native uh, that for a long time was on this show and was a good part of the show. Like, she was great on the air, and she helped out and behind the scenes, uh, you know, with a lot of stuff. And we were on good terms, and I, I saw her destroying her relationships with people in her personal life, and that was sad, sad to me. Um, it seemed like something she was doing with her ex-boyfriends, which, you know, okay, maybe those relationships went bad or something like that. Uh, but it seemed that she was going way beyond the call of duty as far as how she was treating her exes. One guy, she threw a drink in his face when she saw him at a, a local bar. I mean, for no reason whatsoever. 
he didn't hit her or do anything to uh, to deserve that. I don't no. think he even said anything. To no, her. she just saw him in a bar and decided to throw a drink at him. Yeah. So she was just causing drama just to cause. Just I mean, because. I mean, th- they did not break up on good terms, and these things will occur to some extent, right? I mean, like. But I uh, also find mm-hmm. out, Chris, that she's also destroying her relationships with her female friends as well. And so I, I figured that my days were numbered. She's um, a female libertarian. You've got to expect that. <laughs> oh, come on now, Chris. So I figured Don't my, collectivize us. I, I figured my days were numbered, but, you know, that I was safe because I hadn't had sex with her. Um, and she ended up... <laughs> Should have taken it. <laughs> she ended up... No thanks. You get something out of it. No. Um, no, she was a great co-host. I mean, that, that much is true. She was dedicated enough to come here on the show on a, a weekly basis. But... Then she decided I was useless and worthless, and she decided to start hating me after I asked her to come and speak uh, to a group of her friends about an incident that happened between her and another activist here, uh, Rich Paul, actually, where they had a, they had a kind of a, a, a fight, a verbal fight. Then she decided to make that nonverbal by uh, go, rushing at him to attack him physically. Luckily, his bodyguard was there and stepped in to prevent the at- attack from happening. She bit his bodyguard on the arm uh, during that situation. There were multiple witnesses to this. And so, you know, this is an issue. This is something that is worth having a uh, an arbitration or a mediation session about. Like, you know, she lost control and she shouldn't have done that. That was an inappropriate thing. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones. If somebody's saying something you don't like, you don't have the right to go and attack that person, at least by my viewpoint, by the non-aggression principle, certainly. Well, certainly, but you know, I don't think Nemi ever claimed to to be a non-aggressionist either, right? Well, and, right. Well, and- she she seemed to be a libertarian, and so when confronted with this, and given the opportunity to you know at least come talk about it. She refused to do so. Being and loosely anti-government does not a libertarian make. She yeah. she was never, you know, it's not like she just read a whole bunch of Rothbard and was fully convinced. She was just like, oh, this is a place where, you know, I can hang out and get drunk and screw guys and, 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 uh, and you know, have a relative dislike for the actions of the government apparatus, which is not exactly a difficult thing for a person to do. So when I invited her to come ch- chat with the people who care about her and, you know, talk about where she was coming from on that night, just to give her side of the story... Uh, she refused, and further, she confirmed that she thinks it's appropriate to use violence against people who say things that you don't like. So, you know, she's obviously not a libertarian, and she was kicked out of the uh, the Keene Activist Center as a result of that. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Turn on the news and you'll hear stories of natural disasters, political unrest, and financial crisis. In times of uncertainty, how will you take care of your family's most basic needs? Food Insurance, America's most trusted provider of freeze-dried emergency food, has solutions that fit your family's needs and budget. Our meals are delicious, nutritious, and come with a guaranteed 25-year shelf life. For a limited time, we are sending a free freeze-dried meal to all listeners of this program. Go to foodinsurance.com and request your free meal today. That's foodinsurance.com. Attention all men. Are you urinating more frequently? Do you wake up to urinate? Are you having a slower, weaker stream? Don't ignore the warning signs of your aging prostate. Get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Super Beta Prostate is guaranteed to support a more complete emptying of your bladder, a fuller, stronger stream, and less waking at night to urinate. Super Beta Prostate is a product that I really like. I endorse it. I use it myself. I was very pleasantly surprised that Super Beta Prostate helped me fairly quickly. Super Beta Prostate is formulated with a natural plant enzyme called beta cytosterol. It's so powerful, you'd have to take 100 salt palmetto pills to get the same sterols as just one Super Beta Prostate tablet. Don't ignore the warning signs of your aging prostate. Call now to get your free bottle of Super Beta Prostate. Call 1-800-853-1203. That's 1-800-853-1203. 800-853-1203. 
We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. Mike Stennerson from Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it, so decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And we've got Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to uh, reach out to us that way if you like. We also uh, want to tell you about Bitcoinist.net, the ultimate resource for Bitcoin industry news, reviews, education, and the latest in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Over at Bitcoinist.net, they've got a community forum breaking Bitcoin and digital currency news, plus fintech and blockchain tech news. And Bitcoinist has very sophisticated Bitcoin network statistics, a beginner's guide to Bitcoin that is solid, and more. You go to Bitcoinist.net. Bitcoinist.net. That's Bitcoinist.net. Their platform serves the needs of everyone looking to keep up with Bitcoin and digital currencies from beginners to experts. That's Bitcoinist.net. Uh, you know, I want to go to your phone calls and thoughts here. We need to talk more about the lady who is in jail right now, this uh, clerk, for refusing to issue gay marriage licenses. So we'll definitely come back to that. Plus the cop who wanted to be maybe wanted to be seen as a hero, and he's now possibly going to jail. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But, you know, when it comes to uh, personal issues, I don't like to air you know, dirty laundry here on Free Talk Live. I you know, don't want to drag somebody's name through the mud, but since somebody brought it up, uh, I figure it needs to be addressed. And no doubt point. at behest of the person who she brought it up on, I suspect right? you're just, right. Nobody just did this for the sake of doing it. Right. And that woman has been texting me for months. She's been texting me and I haven't been answering her. She mm-hmm. was a lunatic. I was dating her. I was in love with the woman, you know, mm-hmm. and I really treated her very good. When I was living across the street from the house, we were we were hot and heavy together, and I was asking her to move in. And because I was over here and she didn't like you, she decided yep. to totally turn on me and, and, like, treat me in the most horrific of ways. And I was like, don't ever talk to me again right. and i blocked yeah, I her rem- and i remember that i stopped accepting i blocked her like text messages and everything and then i uh and then when i got a new phone then the block was off she's uh. been texting me you know for months and i just wasn't answering her and uh you know trying to get me to hang out and i'm like i don't want anything to do with you 
Uh, and she even sent other people to contact with me. She had uh, Shauna contacted me. She had uh, Becca try to contact me, you know, trying to get me to hang out with her. And I'm like, no, I won't do it. And then, of course, what happens, it turns into a smear campaign against me. Yeah. She's she's talking smack. She's bullhorning me outside of Porkfest. She's bullhorning here. She's hanging out with our enemies. She's a lunatic. It's really uh, it's really sad because, you know, we had a good relationship. And then she just, you know, like, like she did with you, just on a dime, just turned, just because I wanted her to... Come talk about some allegations about her attacking somebody, which definitely happened. She would claim that she didn't remember what happened on the night in question, and maybe she was so drunk or something that she didn't remember it. I don't know. But when multiple people tell you something, you know, Chris, you've been a little drunk here and there. If multiple people came up to you who were your friends and said to you, hey, Chris, you know, you accident, you, you hit somebody last night, uh, and you'd probably be willing to apologize to, the, to that person if, you know. Yeah, or at least be no. willing to believe that you actually did it. Right. You know, and then... Uh, and because you don't believe in violence, that would be something that would be worthy of at least a very minimum an apology, if not restitution. Certainly. Um, and she's not willing to even – she wasn't even willing to talk to her friends about the issue. And it was on that issue where she decided to start hating me as a result of that. And I'm a pretty forgiving guy. In fact, some people will accuse me of being too forgiving. And, you know, there may be an argument there. Uh I would be willing to forgive Nemi if she were willing to actually apologize and try to make things good with her victims. But she's not. She doesn't feel sorry for the damage that she's caused. She appears to be, by all uh, evidence, a sociopath, maybe even a psychopath. So, you know, beware. Those are synonyms, by the way. Well, are they really? Yeah. Sociopath, psychopath are synonyms. I mean, psychotic would be an another thing where you're completely detached from reality. But So, anyway, that's uh, that's the situation. It's It's unfortunate. Now let's go to your phone calls and thoughts here. Uh, let's go to Jeff in Illinois. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Jeff. Hey, guys. I was going to talk about the origin of marriage licenses. Do you guys know about the origin of marriage licenses? I do, but why don't you fill the audience in for us? Thanks a lot. Okay. So basically, a license is uh, permission from the government to do something that would either otherwise be illegal or would require a certain amount of uh, skill, say, for like a driver's license or a law license, uh, which is like a professional thing. Right. To, to license also, something is to outlaw it and then to give permission to break the law. Yes. So like um, a, a booze license for a, a restaurant or something like that. Um, okay. So basically during the war between the states, they had, um, that's when the- uh, The War license, of Northern Aggression? Or, <laughs> however you wanted I, I South would, arise you know, again. War, uh, Someday. <laughs> so, yeah, they, um, that's where the uh, marriage license came from originally because before people used to get a ceremony and then they'd sign their names in the Bible and they didn't have any permission from the state to get married. And what it was, they say, we now give you permission to intermarry. Um, so basically people wanted to get in, um, into interracial marriages and they mm -hmm. needed a license from the government to do something that was um, before that illegal or considered illegal. Yeah, so it's yeah, a racist origin of uh, of the marriage license. And so people don't really need a, a marriage license, but uh, people think they do, and they're all, you know, running and getting one. So Well, uh, now, hold on. The reason why people, a lot of them, even libertarians who know better, who know the history of the marriage license, and who certainly have no love for the state, the reason why they will go and get one, like Mark Edge, our co-host, uh, who's not here tonight, but he and his wife, they got a, a marriage license. And, and the reason why is because, well, there's certain things legally that you need to have that for, like being able to visit your loved one in the hospital or uh, insurance purposes. Yeah, and or, some employers won't provide any sort of benefits for you or for the, your spouse unless you're legally married. Now, yeah. uh, a lot of companies are changing that and they're providing some sort of domestic coverage, but that's still that's few nice. and far between. Yeah, um, And that's a market response, right? Correct, to, yes. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, I think there are reasons for people to get the government paperwork. I don't like the idea of it personally, but I understand why someone would do it. Well, what it's also become over time is that, you know, government – look, with any given behavior, government basically has three options. It's promote, per, pr promote permit, or prohibit, right? And so, uh, you know, marriage has sort of become a thing that government sought to promote because it leads to the healthy – uh, upbringing of children it's a it's the ideal environment for that and there's certain um you know there's certain benefits in it especially for the for the woman that she has some kind of elevated legal status that if she gives
gives uh, her, uh, you know, youth and beauty and fertility to a man and uh, that she doesn't dump her and upgrade later on. Right. And so there are there are good reasons to have a legally binding contract in an arrangement like that. But of course, you know, the, the way that the state, uh, you know, does it now is is quite uh, troublesome. Right. You're getting into a contract between you, your loved one and the state. So it's really more of like a three way agreement where if the contract comes to a close, then the other party, the state, gets to determine everything about it. And their arbitrary rules will be applied in an arbitrary manner. And a lot of times the guys are the ones that get the screwing. And okay. and mind you this, that, you know, license or none, government would do it anyway, right? It's not like the government needs permission to come in and screw up your life, right? Mm-hmm. Like if marriage <laughs> was a completely private contract, the government could just as easily come in and be like, hey, we're entering your private contract. They could. We will ruin your lives now and take your children away and feed them to the pharmaceutical companies. That's what we do. So, Jeff, what did you want to say further? Go ahead. Okay, well, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I think if this woman, you know, I mean, maybe it's an appropriate, it could be appropriate. I, I'm, well, I don't think that they necessarily have a right to put that woman in jail um, for the thing they could say to her, well, you know, we're, I, I don't know what else that they could do, but it, it seems like that might be. They could fire her. Uh, they could fire it, this That's one thing I was thinking, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, before the, doing that. Th- this is nothing more than trying to make an example out of her to strike fear into the hearts of other people who might follow suit. That's all that this is. They're saying yeah. if you mess around with the court, the court will jail you. This is they're making an example out of her because they know that this is going to happen. And I wrote about this when the Supreme Court uh, in uh, Obergefell came came down. I said you're going to have a you're going to have a, a reactionary backlash against this, okay? Because people are not people don't want this. This is an expansion of the federal government. I mm. hated that I saw so many libertarians cheering for this thing Then it's the federal government deciding, hey, we're going to decide for the entire 50 states of the union what a marriage is. Jeff, thanks for your call tonight. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Your comments on the marriage licensing in general. This lady in Rowan County, Kim Davis, she's in jail on contempt of court. There's more to say about her and the protests going on outside of the courthouse. This is Free Talk Live. For P150, P150GA, P150OK, P150TN, C250A, C250E, C250Q. Not available in all states. What's the scariest thing about going to the dentist? Opening your mouth or opening your wallet? Because just a simple cleaning can cost $100. And things like root canals can cost you hundreds more. If you don't have dental insurance to help, call Physicians Mutual Insurance Company, 1-800-809-5580. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps pay for checkups right away. So you can call today and get your teeth cleaned tomorrow. Plus, it helps cover the more expensive procedures you might need down the road. Fillings, crowns, bridges, even costly dentures. There's no deductible and no annual maximum. Your acceptance is guaranteed for one of these insurance policies, even if you're retired. There are no networks, so you can choose any dentist you'd like. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll rush you a free information kit with all the details. 1-800-809-5580. That's 1-800-809-5580. 1-800-809-5580. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9 millimeter bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? They found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com. PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Do you owe the IRS money? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. There is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. 
Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call now for your free and confidential analysis. 800-481-3147. Again, that's 800-481-3147. 800-481-3147. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't take on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe $10,000 or more, then call the tax admiral. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. You're invited here. Toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. Join us. The us tonight includes me, Ian. Danica. And Cantwell. Cantwell is here, courtesy of his website, ChristopherCantwell.com. There's a pretty shocking video that is on the front page, the top article of your website right now, Chris. Uh, I don't think we should talk more about it. It's in its sort of its early stages of development at the moment. Uh, but uh, people who have been following you should, should probably check that out. At ChristopherCantwell.com. Certainly. And uh, you can also hear about that and all my other antics on Radical Agenda. Now, twice weekly now? Twice weekly now. We're doing it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I used to do it on Friday, and then, you know, you invited me to come back. Into and thank the, you for coming Into back. the show on Sacrifices Friday. Sacrifices so. must be made. <laughs> so well, I, th- I thought that there should be, you know, Chris was considering doing more Radical Agenda, and I, yeah. I thought that was a good idea. And so it was a perfect excuse to uh, make an adjustment. Yeah, exactly. So we do it Tuesdays and Thursdays live from 5 to 7 p.m. But, of course, you can catch it after on YouTube or on Stitcher on iTunes and just find all that at uh, ChristopherCantwell.com and RadicalAgenda.com. Excellent. Let's continue with your calls and thoughts. Then we'll talk more about this lady who, and the crowds outside actually, the protesters, various different interest groups of this lady uh, Kim Davis, the Rowan County clerk who is now in jail uh, for disobeying a judge's order. Let's go first to Libertarian Banker calling from Unknown. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, how's it going tonight? What's on your mind tonight? I want to very good. I want to talk about uh, student loans and this uh, whole debacle that the U.S. government has created. This bubble that is going to burst at some point. No, they're gonna. Um, it's you know, it's all gonna be fine because they're gonna make college free now, and then everything's gonna be perfect. <laughs> that means you'll be paying for it, can't well. Oh, that's right. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know the, the government has has basically co-signed these loans. The the U.S. government, which is basically the taxpayers that they are forcing to pay them, have co-signed loans for 18-year-olds with no work experience, no uh, no income. Yeah, so they can go and, get a gender studies degree. They're, they're loaning them hundred dollars to $200,000 uh, wow. with, with ridiculous interest rates. And, and I'll tell you, if in the private market, something like this would never happen for one reason. It's stupid. You don't loan an 18-year-old kid with uh, with no job and no income 
a hundred grand. You know, I don't care what it's for. Yeah, that's exactly. Um, the only know. reason anybody would borrow money from the government they, they is specifically because they couldn't get the credit elsewhere, right? I mean, if the market would provide the loan, then people would go, just go to the bank and get it. The, and, the, you know, you're supposed to go to college because you need that piece of paper that says that you can do a job. Problem is, the more people get the piece of paper, the less worth, uh, worthwhile it is to get the piece of paper. Well, exactly. Well, not and mention, just you're destroying not education that, altogether. Just, These idiots go in sure, there and they get a gender studies degree or some... You you know, liberal arts Music. nonsense. Yeah. Like, I'm going to give me, I'm going to major in flute. You know, you're going to major in skin flute when you hit the streets, you <laughs> moron. All right, go ahead, banker. And not to mention this, uh, this, uh, you know, this, this uh, guaranteeing of the loans has, has made this price of, of college skyrocket. So if, if the government really yeah, that's a good point. wanted, uh, you know, poor people to go to college, they would make it more affordable by not inflating the prices like this. Right. It, if the colleges know ridiculous. they can get whatever amount they they demand, then why wouldn't they just keep increasing the tuition fees? Well, and you're and also you increasing the, the demand artificially, right? So, I mean, people who couldn't afford to go to college, who probably shouldn't be there anyway. I mean, look, the world needs ditch diggers, too, and ditch diggers don't need college degrees, right? Mm -hmm. And so they, they've got this idea that we're going to, you know, have everybody have an education, and what are you going to do? You're going to increase the demand of something, which the supply of which is not increasing, and then you turn around and, and the prices go up. It's very it's pretty simple economic and, and, reasoning. And, and the banks, I'll tell you, the banks love this stuff because, you know, they turn it into paper, just like these mortgages that can be bought and sold, you know, on the open market. So any bank wanting to make an investment in a, in a college kid that cannot bankrupt his student loan, which is earning 8%, well, by God, buy the paper. Man, we're going to get paid back on this. Thing, yeah, by right? all means. They just got to wait for the next round of quantitative easing <laughs> and the Federal Reserve will come take it off their hands. Absolutely. Look, I am all for people. Uh, if people want to borrow money on a voluntary basis and sign on that dotted line on their own volition, on their own income, and they qualify for it, go ahead. But, you know, making loans to 18 year old kids with no jobs is just stupid. Thanks, Libertarian Banker. I understand where you're coming from on that one. Our toll free number is 855 450 free. I wish I could have my college time back, really. I, you know, I, I was risking um, falling asleep while driving because I was working at two jobs and going to college at the same time and it was just an exhausting thing to do and all i got out of it was a you know this associate's degree which was useless and you know even uh the, the classes i took i had to unlearn some of the stuff that they taught me about how to speak i took a voice and diction class and they taught me to do all kinds of things you're not supposed to do when you're doing radio stuff when you're like cutting ads for yeah, the radio, free to walk live. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they encouraged me to in uh, to enunciate, over enunciate, basically, like uh, hit my T's really hard and things like that. When I was like doing uh, recording advertising <laughs> and things like that, at some point, we're not on a transistor radio from the 1940s. You it's dummy. crazy. <laughs> and and I, at one point, I had to have uh, it was the production guy at Clear Channel years ago. You know, when I was young and I was working at Clear Channel and doing some production work in there. He, he pulled me aside, and he was like, you can't be doing this, basically. <laughs> but that's what they taught me at school, yeah. boss. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a total waste. It was just a total throw. I am so glad that I dropped out of school. I mean, I was, you know, I, I, I did like well in school you know before i got into drugs and just mm -hmm. stopped going uh and and they actually uh when i was in 10th grade they put me into college early i went into college when i was 16 years old wow oh. and uh and i and i barely made it through a semester like i like hmm. all my friends were older so i'd be like on my way to class i go see one of my friends they'd be like what the heck are you doing here you're 16 and i was mm -hmm. like oh yeah i'm really smart you know and then they were like wow. and i'd be like what are you doing he's like i'm on my way to smoke a joint what are you on what are you doing i was like i was on my way to class but i guess now i'm on my Screw way to it. smoke a joint and <laughs> And I ended up dropping out of school, and it was like the best thing that I ever did, right? Like I just wow. went right into the workforce, and you know, f you know, everybody thought like, oh no, now you're never going to make anything of yourself. You're, you know, you're going to be a bum, and because you didn't finish high school, and now you dropped out of college, and da, da, da. and sure enough, you know, before I, you know, had my life ruined by the government and became a anti-government radical, uh, you know, I had a pretty, <laughs> I had a pretty decent IT career. I was doing pretty well. I was on my way up. Toll free number tonight, 855 450 free. And you got those skills without having to, you know, to pay to train. Right? Exactly. I just, you know, tinkered with my computer all the time and, you know, became a became a pretty proficient uh, professional. What about you, Danica? Did you go to college? Yeah, I did go to college. For how many years? Four years. Well, oh, actually, wow. wait, no. I went for the, f yeah, I went for the first year and then I stopped and took some and took a break. I just started working and I didn't really want to go back to college. Did you know and what you wanted to go for? 
Um, Because a lot of college students have no idea. uh, I eventually, I at first went for a art degree in illustration because I really love drawing and I'm, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm pretty talented in it. And now you can when, get a job as an artist, right? Like you could well, uh, illustrate comic books or advertising. Correct. Or yeah, but a lot of artists said, "Hey, I would suggest instead of going to art school, go for like say a business degree or something like that that you can use to market your skills." And I found out the hard way within the first two semesters that it was just like, "Okay, they're wanting me to draw all these stupid things. They're criticizing me because my drawings don't look exactly like someone else's, and that's not the point of art. The point of art right. is to look absolutely unique." And your own personal style done on, say, like this chair that we would supposed to be drawing. So mm-hmm. I would get marked down on projects when I was, it was quite obvious that I was spending a decent amount of time on these projects, but not getting as good. You're not grade conforming. As, so what, what, I'm not well conforming. Enough. What school did you go to? Boise State. Okay, so you went to a state university to learn art, right? Like, you're like, well, what I difference would it make from I'm like more, a private institution? I want to go and learn art, so I think I'll go ask the government. <laughs> like, I didn't. Now, well, I paid less like there a, than when I was say like an art institute. But of course, I, you paid less. You know, it's subsidized, and that's the I whole did, point of a state university. I stopped going after a little bit because I was just like, I don't want to do art anymore. I have a portfolio that speaks for itself. I don't need a degree to tell people that I can draw. So I stopped going. I worked for a little bit. And then one of my jobs that I was working, uh, my boss uh, talked me into going back to college. And I was like, that's probably a good idea. I- Is he going to pay for it? <laughs> no, but I did <laughs> I did get out of school relatively debt-free because I had a very generous tuition reimbursement from my job. So that was... Oh, so the boss did pay, pay it, for some did, of it. Most of it, yeah. Okay. They yeah. paid for most of it. If so the that, boss so, is going to pay you to train, then, eh, you know, okay, yeah, who cares it was, where yeah, you're training? Yeah, it, pre- it was pretty good. And then, so I went back for about three and a half to four years and, and got my degree. So you're not holding a bunch of debt? I'm holding a little bit, but not not, not a lot. The, uh, this, not like it will be average. paid off in a few years. Okay. Yeah, you get it. You get it done before your teeth fall out. Probably. Right. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, I just I love the part of the story that she went to a state university for art, and then she was like, "Screw art." <laughs> <laughs> I ain't conforming. I've got my portfolio, and I don't need a degree for that. John's in Minnesota, yeah. northern part of the state, listening to WNMT. Hey, John. Yes, uh, I'm gonna turn radio down here. Anyway, uh, when I when I got out of school, I couldn't even read. And I was uh, in like in the, I was 18, but I couldn't read, so I couldn't get a good job. So I went into sales. And sales is incredibly building. a rewarding career. I want to hear the rest of your story. Stand by, John. Uh, we'll bring you back after the news. More free talk live. You can join us here at 855 450 free. It's free talk live. It's fall flooring season with incredible deals on the hottest styles right now at Lumber Liquidator's Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale. Choose from over 400 great floors with over 20 laminate styles like American-made mahogany for just 49 cents a square foot. More than 30 bamboo floors like carbonized bamboo for only $159. And over 150 hardwood floors like pre-finished gunstock oak for only 99 cents. With a dollar off Bellow with 20% off Dream Home Laminates. Plus great floors, wood like tile, vinyl, and more with 24 months special financing. The Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is going on now. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Before girls' night out, my eczema flared up. Ugh, I felt like canceling. But then I tried Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. It's specially formulated for eczema and has 1% hydrocortisone, the strongest non-prescription itch medicine for fast, lasting itch relief. It quickly stopped the itch and soothed my red, dry, flaky skin. With Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief, I was ready for girls' night out, and it was the best one ever. Cortisone 10 Eczema Relief. Feel the heal. Use as directed. Do you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Then get on board with the tax admiral and let us steer your way to financial freedom. The IRS is the largest collection agency in the world. They can freeze your bank accounts, seize your car, home, will garnish your paychecks and benefits. Don't take on the IRS alone. I can fight for you using industry secrets that can help stop the IRS. I'll cut your penalties, slash your interest, and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company with over 30 years experience helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. And we have a 90 95% customer satisfaction rating. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS, are facing an audit, a lien, or levy, then call me right away. Call 800 287 7180. Again, that's 800 287 7180. 800 287 7180. 800 287 7180. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today.
Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Police in northern Illinois say they continue to look for the suspects in the murder of Fox Lake police officer Charles Glinowitz, who was killed last Tuesday after radioing that he was pursuing three suspects and asked for backup. Chief George Falenko says they continue to review a lot of video. We've now coordinated with the FBI, uh, who have the ability to chronologically put together these video segments that we've collected uh, from a number of areas within the community. And now Motorola Solutions Incorporated, which has employees who live in the area, has offered up to $50,000 in reward money for information leading to the capture and conviction of those killers. Meanwhile, in Houston, funeral services were held today for slain Deputy Darren Goforth, who was shot execution style while he was pumping gas. Houston Police Lieutenant Roland De Los Santos says Darren Goforth had few enemies. He was well liked by his fellow deputies, by the public, and even by the people he had to do business with and put in jail, because that was Darren. 30-year-old Shannon Miles, who has a history of mental illness and arrests, is charged in the death of the 47-year-old veteran officer. The motive remains unknown. A key Democratic senator comes out against the Iran nuclear deal. Senator Ben Cardin of Maryland is the top-ranking Democrat on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. He joins Senator Charles Schumer of New York and Robert Menendez of New Jersey in opposing the measure. Schumer is a member of the Democratic leadership, and Menendez is a former chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Senator Cardin says his decision to oppose the Iran nuclear deal is, in his words, a vote of conscience, not a litmus test to party loyalty or political acumen. Correspondent Linda Kenyon reporting. Her lawyer says a jailed Kentucky County clerk who refuses to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples is spending her time in jail reading her Bible while behind bars. Kim Davis was jailed for contempt of court. More on these stories at townhall.com. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with Principal Office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots, but doctors have discovered they're unable to reverse or control serious side effects, such as internal bleeding caused by Zarelto. These serious Bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for any form of internal bleeding or stroke after taking Zarelto, you may be entitled to a cash award and substantial financial compensation. There's limited time to file a claim, so call 800 7140385 now. Call 800 7140385. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 7140385. That's 800 7140385. Again, 800 7140385. A New Jersey man has been indicted on burglary charges after police say he inadvertently dialed 911 and let authorities in on his plan. Police say they heard Scott Robert Esser and an accomplice talking about breaking into homes, emptying drawers, and making off with goods. The 42-year-old Esser was indicted on burglary, theft, and other charges in connection with burglaries in several cities. Esser was arrested July 29th on the Garden State Parkway. At the time, police say they found jewelry, electronics, and more than $11,000 in bonds bonds and a handgun in his car. Bob Agnew reporting. A federal appeals court has ruled that a former suburban Philadelphia teacher fired for writing derisively about students on her blog can't use free speech rights as an argument to get her job back. Natalie Monroe, who worked for the Central Bucks School District, called students disengaged, lazy whiners and disobedient, disrespectful oafs. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. President Obama says the United States shares Saudi concerns about instability in Yemen. At the beginning of an Oval Office meeting with Saudi Arabia's King Salman, the president said it was obviously a challenging time for the Middle East. He mentioned Yemen's need for a functioning government and the ongoing threats posed by Islamic State militants. The White House meeting took place as the Saudis seek assurances from the U.S. that Iran won't be emboldened by the new nuclear deal. White House correspondent Greg Clugston. A U.N. human rights official says the refugee and migrant crisis can't be solved just by closing the door and declaring war on smugglers and traffickers. Thousands of migrants have been trapped in Budapest, Hungary, where police have refused to allow them to board trains for destinations in Europe. Hundreds have vowed to walk all the way to Austria from Budapest, which could take quite a few days. More on these stories at townhall.com.
Okay, open your mouth and say, ah. Ah. When your child has a sore throat, you need to know when to get help. The doctor-recommended Say Ah Sore Throat Exam is your solution. The scientifically designed oral retractor offers a clear view of the throat, relaxing the tongue and minimizing gag reflex. Compare with a medical grade chart, website, and app. Then you'll know just what to tell your doctor. A wellness plan in your hands in minutes. Go to sayahhnow.com. Sayahnow.com, the new mainstay for every family's first aid kit. So I say to Mark at lunch, look, you know, I keep hearing from the government that, you know, they're worried someday ISIS may get here. And I go, duh, uh, Garland, Texas, Muhammad cartoon shooting. ISIS is already here. I'm not waiting for these people to defend me. I, if they don't know ISIS is here already, they got no clue. I'm taking care of myself. Guns80.com, AR-15 kits, 30-shot magazines, great prices. They've even got the Hillary special. Guns80.com, that's 844-2-GUNS-80, guns80.com. This is Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live. Yes, it is. And you can join us here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. Danica. And Cantwell. We also have Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Still to come here, I know uh, we've got more to say on this lady, Kim Davis, the Rowan County clerk, who there's headlines all over about her going to jail for disobeying a judge's order and there are a lot of people who are protesting from various different sides outside of the courthouse in this particular case uh so we've got more to say on that plus camel's going to tell us about a cop who falsified an attack on him it was shocking a police officer lied can you believe it i know i just wow it was a kind of a different style of lie from a from a police officer a lot of cases they're lying about the people they're going after uh, in this case, he just made up a story, and now he might be getting in trouble for it. Uh, we'll get to that, but your calls come first. So let's go to the phones and your thoughts. Back to John in Minnesota. Now, John, you had told us a moment ago that you, when you graduated high school, you could not read. I didn't, I didn't graduate. I, I, did, I didn't graduate. I quit the day I turned 18. Oh, okay. Uh, so as soon as you were uh, legally able, you left uh, the high school. Probably oh, yeah, a smart move. Yeah, yeah it yeah. didn't seem but like it was working like, out so well for you. Yeah, I didn't like sitting all day. But but the thing is, uh, getting a job, uh, I had a few different jobs, but then I went into sales after I got out of the service. And that job, they didn't care if you could read or not. And uh, you could go out and give a demonstration, and it was straight commission, and you got paid. And uh, so so I did that. And What were you selling? I'm just company. curious. Vacuum cleaners, uh, knives? Yeah. <laughs> no, I was a panhandler. I, I sold pans, pans, cookware oh. for cookware. It's like, wait a second, that doesn't sound like a sales job at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 salesmen joke a lot. But but anyway, I was selling cookware in, in China and stuff, and, and I'd always catch the, the, the single girl working, because I'd go around all day long in offices and banks and every place where somebody was working and ask for the single girls and get their name and address and phone number. And then at night I'd show them with their parents. And so the parents would see it, and uh, sometimes the parents would buy a set too. So the parents and, uh, were uh, were basically, you know, motivated to help their kid out. So they'd buy him a nice set oh, yeah. of pans. Yeah. yeah well, the, no, the, the girl paid for it herself. Oh. For, but then the parents would buy a set people. as well. I see. You were pitching them both at yeah, the same yeah. time. You know, sales. Uh, but how would you fill out the forms if you couldn't read? I mean, normally with sales, you got to like fill out a, an order form or something like that. That's where the funny part would come in. I'd have them. I say, now I want to make sure you can understand this. So read it out loud so everybody can hear it, and then I follow along. <laughs> wow. Eventually, I learned how, learned how to read. And then so I you learned how to read. By working a sales job and asking your customers to read the sales form for you? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then later on, I, I, I got into a selling education. selling, And uh, so I had to hire and train salesmen because they put me as a manager. Mm-hmm. And uh, this one guy says, how far did you go to school? I says, well, I dropped out as soon as I could. He says, here, I've been to four or five years of college and university, and I'm going to work for you. Yep. Yep. Said, That's right, buddy. You know, you're working for yourself, and you're 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 a straight commission. And he says, "Well, I can't do it." And I says, "Well, have fun. Go somewhere else. Get lost." 
Yeah. You know, this is this is what's going to this is the economy of the future is that like your your mark of intelligence is that you dropped out of school. They were like, "Oh, you figured out this was a scam at such a young age. You must be must a bright be young lad." You know, and it just goes to tell you how terrible the education system is that this guy, you know, through through uh, you know, made it through school up until 18 years old, didn't learn how to read, and Man. then he figured it out by <laughs> having people read sales forms, right? I mean, they, if they can't, Incredible. you know, he's obviously capable of, uh, of uh, you know, it's not it's not a, a lack of brain power that the guy can't figure out how to read. It's a problem of the education system is literally that bad that they're shuffling him through grades, and all he had to do is have this form read out. John, great story, how man. To deal with learning, learning how to deal with people. That's, that's a skill that is very lacking in our nation. Yeah, Absolutely. You're certainly not learning that in public school. No, you're learning how to fight with people there. Hey, thanks, John. I appreciate hearing from you tonight yeah. here. The uh, toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And he brings up a good point. When you're in the marketplace, you have the incentive to learn how to deal with people, right? Absolutely. Like, Otherwise, you don't get paid. Yeah, yeah. If you don't satisfy those customers, you're done. Right. And in, and in the public school system, you get marks on a piece of paper at the end of the, the you know, Marking if, period or whatever. If you're lucky, you get stickers, but yeah. yeah sticker. Tom, you're going to get a scratch and sniff <laughs> if you do this <laughs> test now, well, Johnny. Good job, Johnny. Yeah. I, know guys, I know guys who graduated high school. Ward Melville High School in, in Suffolk County, Long Island, was considered like an actually pretty good school, okay? And I know guys who graduated Ward Melville High School who to this day cannot read. And that is a really wow. terrible mark on our education system. And me personally, I, I like before I got into drugs and stopped going, like I actually did pretty good in school. I actually, yep. uh, I left high school early to go to college early. And, and then I ended up dropping out of college. But like without all of that educational paperwork nonsense, you know, uh, I, I managed to build up a halfway decent career for myself. Yeah. You know, I think I said that on the break, right? That was not something I did. I don't, I think, did I, don't I say recall. this on the air already? I'm I don't sorry. think so. I don't think so. Our toll free number is 855 450 free. Let's go to Dick. In Alabama, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Dick. Hey, Dick. Hey, Chris. Uh, for being so smart, we said that twice. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, All right. So anyway, I'm a dummy now. Just a radio host. Yeah, you're a dummy now. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm a dick, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but let's keep it clean tonight, Chris. I know you have a uh, you know, tongue sometimes. Anyway, I wanted to call and uh, talk to mainly ask Ian, but I'm curious what Danica and Chris think as well, uh, your opinion of Rand Paul. And uh, I've been meaning to call for a while on Ask Ian this because I really respect your stance. I've heard you talk about him. And yeah, I was going to say, think- if you've listened to the show for more than a month, there's usually somebody that calls in about Rand Paul, and I'm more than happy to give it's my... It's still early in September. We met our one Rand Paul okay, note good point. on here. <laughs> uh, so- yeah, I- well, let, let's start with, I, it's, I don't know if you were going somewhere else, but let's let's just start with addressing your first uh, question here. Uh, Danica, do you want to weigh in? Rand I, Paul. I don't really have an opinion about Rand Paul. Not really. I just. I so you're not going to go vote for him then, presumably? No. Okay. If I have nothing better to do on primary day, I will go and check a box. I, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, between between Molyneux and Woods, I'm I'm starting to entertain the Donald Trump thing. Uh, but it, oh, I heard last night on Free Talk Live, uh, they had a, the issue where Donald Trump apparently has completely sold out now to the Republicans. You remember the debate? Oh, really? The only the the only good thing I could say about Donald Trump, and I gave him credit for this on the air on more than one occasion, was that during the Republican debate, they asked the question of which of you will uh will pledge or uh, which of you pledges to well, I don't know what the exact question was but essentially that you will was, pledge to endorse the Republican nominee no matter who he is that well, you will not run as an independent yeah or you know will you refuse to run as an independent and he was the only one who who refused to endorse whoever the nominee would be and right. he would ref- he refused to say he would not run as an independent and I thought you know he deserved credit for being the sort of the lone wolf up there willing to buck the system well now apparently the news is he has signed some sort of agreement with the Republican Party to where yes in point of fact he will be endorsing whoever their nominee is and, and, and no he will not run an independent campaign. and thank God for that because absent that we would 
be seeing a Hillary Clinton presidency in 2016, and I'm not going to tolerate that. You really uh, but, think eight years of having a Democrat in the office that we're, that we're still going to continue with the Democrat line? Yeah, I, I think it's absolutely possible. If you had a Donald Trump running as an independent candidate, he would absolutely pull enough votes away from the Republican candidate to to hand that election to the Democrats. And I suspect that that might have been exactly what he was planning to do because he's given an awful lot of money to Democrats over the years. And maybe he'll break break his promise and run as maybe. an independent anyway. That but, possibility certainly exists. But, you know, I saw that as a real, uh, you know, lame thing for him to do after looking so independent on the stage agree, yeah. a little while back. So I got nothing nice to say about Donald Trump now at, at this point. And regarding Rand Paul, uh, yeah, I am not impressed. He's not anything like his father as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the best thing I can say about Rand Paul is he's better than the rest of them. So, you know, as far as lesser evils are concerned, he seems to be the lesser evil on the Republican ticket. But I'm not going to change my party to vote for him. I'm a registered Democrat here, and I, I intend. <laughs> what is wrong with I, you? Excuse me. I intend to vote for Vermin Supreme. You can Supreme. also change at the drop of a hat if you choose. Yeah, I can't true. believe I'm in a studio with a registered Democrat. <laughs> what the, lunatic. Dick, stand by. Stay rigid. We'll be we'll be uh, on with more. <laughs> I see what you did there, uh, Dick. More Dick in moments. On Free Talk Live. No shortage of it here, folks. 855-450 free. 855-450-3733. You're welcome to share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And right now you can try Listen Clear absolutely risk-free with free shipping. We'll even give you free batteries for life. So call now, 1-800-719-9349. Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your 100% risk-free home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now. 1-800-719-9349. That's 1-800-719-9349. 1-800-719-9349. No! That's the sound your brain makes when you realize you're buying something and forgot the coupon. Online or in a store, knowing that you're missing a deal is the worst. You need the app from Retail Me Not right now. Get thousands of coupons from 50,000 stores like Kohl's, Domino's, Best Buy, and more with crazy deals like 60% off, free shipping, and free gifts with purchase. You can get a text invite to download the Retail Me Not app 100% free right now for Apple or Android. Just text the code UPDATE to 42767. Then just show your phone at checkout to save. It literally couldn't be easier. It's 2015. Keep your coupon bonds in your phone. Stop what you're doing and text UPDATE to 42767. Listeners will get a text with a link to download it 100% free. Never forget another coupon again. Text the code UPDATE to 42767 right now. That's UPDATE to 42767. Message and data rates may apply. For terms and privacy, visit RetailMeNot.com. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. 
1037 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KATIArmor.com. Come and take it. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Free Talk Live. Join us here. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. If you care about your privacy when you're on the internet, you need ProXPN. It is a virtual private network. They encrypt your online data before it gets to your internet service provider, so your ISP will no longer be able to sell your data to other companies. They won't be able to mine it for their own purposes or give it over to the government because they won't have it. They'll have a bunch of encrypted data, and that's useless to them. ProXPN does it right, offering OpenVPN, the gold standard of network encryption. They've got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux support as well. You can start now for free, but ultimately you're going to want to upgrade to their premium account. And when you do that, use code FTL50. You'll save 50% off the regular monthly price for the lifetime of your account. When you buy an annual account with that code FTL50, it can be cheaper per month than a good cup of coffee. Just go to proxpn.com and use code FTL50 to take back the privacy that is your right. We've got Dick on the line in Alabama. And Dick, you'd called in to ask about the show host's opinions on Rand Paul. And the overall impression uh, that I got from the studio is not impressed. Well, um, I'm in Alaska, not Alabama, but uh, my my real question was why would why would you choose Berman Supreme if you're because I understand like Chris's perspective why bother even going to the polls like I I can understand how it could be a completely pointless thing to do, um, but if you're gonna make the effort to go out and vote why why would you choose Berman Supreme instead of Rand Paul what what would be your motivations because those are the two people who I would consider voting for in this primary or this election. And, you know, I, I, I've sided on Rand Paul, but I see your side and I'm just, you know, trying to understand a little better. Sure. Sure. Uh, so why choose Vermin Supreme, who is essentially a, a kind of a protest candidate. He's a, a very small time guy. He's ran actually for the Republican and the Democrat uh, tickets as president in the past. So I think he's probably going to run as a Democrat this year, but I don't even know if that really has been announced. Bipartisan support. Yeah. Well, Vermin's that he's just, you know, he's hard to really pigeonhole into uh, one category or the other, but uh, Vermin Supreme, of course, is the politician who wears a boot on his head, for those who may be unfamiliar. <laughs> and promises free ponies. That's among other things, yes. Free ponies for everybody. Uh, mandatory teeth brushing law he wants to pass. He's got all kinds of silly things that he says. Essentially, it's a comedy act, and it's it's a brilliant one. We've actually had him on the show a, a number of times, and I'm sure we'll have him back uh, before, the, uh, before the election. So why Vermin Supreme? Well, because it's fun to troll the system. I mean, that's ultimately why, because there's no real point in voting on a national level anyway. So if you're going to do it, well, then you might as well just have a little bit of fun with it. And it's fun to vote for Vermin Supreme. I, I can see that. And uh, But the other night, uh, someone called in and tried to give a principled argument for not voting in general. And both you and Mark seem to be kind of against the idea of just not voting as a principled argument. And... Yeah, there's no principled reason to not vote, and that's what Mark, uh, I think, had pointed out. But Mark did agree that there was no point in voting at the the federal level. But in, here in New Hampshire, you know, you can win an office by one vote here, so your vote really can make a difference on a, on a local level. 
I, I would I would I go would ahead and disagree with your your premise on both angles. I think that somebody could make the case that you know there's a there's a principled reason to not vote, not to endorse the system. It's just that you know practically, right? When we're starting to try to actually deal with the issues at hand, uh, let's just go deal with the issues at hand, right? Um, and I would also say uh, that. Uh, while your vote is obviously greatly diluted in a federal election, particularly in the case of president of the United mm-hmm. States, um, this is serious business, Ian. <laughs> like it's, we no, are, it's not. It is serious business. We are dealing with people. This it's country, not that serious. You said you probably wouldn't even be bothering to vote for Rand Paul. If I have nothing better to do on election day, I will go and I will do it. And uh, But uh, what I was actually saying is- That doesn't sound too that, serious uh, to me. Well, the thing is, the thing, well, but hang on a second. So- um, uh, there's uh, anyway <laughs> serious business it's serious business i do not <laughs> like the idea of just going throwing a, a, a joke candidate like we're <laughs> we're dealing with a situation where you know uh you could have a, a situation where it's jeb bush versus hillary clinton that you could that's have, probably what you'll end up that with you could have donald trump versus bernie sanders i mean the way that this, would be more entertaining i gotta hand it, it would I certainly be that. very entertaining but it's a it's just spelling out how polarized this country is right now it's the worst i've ever seen it is right it? yeah Yes. Don't people always say that every four? It's like, it's the most important election ever. I don't know that it's, I'm not saying whether it's the most important or not. I'm saying it's the most polarized I've ever seen mm. politics in America. That you're looking at a very real situation of you could have Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump, right? <laughs> it's crazy. Like, how much crazier could an election yeah. cycle be than that? Now, Look, dude, people do say gonna... this. Every four years, they say it's the most crazy, it's the most important, blah, blah, blah. That's because the stakes keep on getting higher, right? The stakes keep on getting higher. You have a situation where it's Bernie Sanders versus Donald Trump. These men will take the country in fundamentally different directions. It's not like when you had Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama, right? These guys were really, mm. they tried to make themselves look very different but they were very 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 much the same i see what you're saying bernie there. sanders versus donald trump right, that he's is got the, the socialist versus the what would you call fascist him? i don't know uh, i I'd, I'd, I'd go so far as to say that donald trump conjures in the minds of the citizenry the epitome of capitalism but of course that's nonsense because he's been paying democrats for political favors for his entire career but yes he's the crony capitalist you know propaganda king and but you know i'll tell you what you know one of the things that really made me think twice about donald trump though and I was I just wrote an article bashing Donald Trump on my website a few days ago and all Christopher my Christopher Cantwell.com. Yeah, exactly. And people were calling me a cuckold for doing it. But <laughs> <laughs> but the but the but the thing is what Molyneux actually made me think about. He's like the, you know, the president is not going to fundamentally do anything to better our lives, but what Donald Trump can do is make people hate the media. And he is so good at that. I mean, he's just like he just goes and trolls Megan Kelly on Twitter and all of a sudden my news feed is full of, you know, just Donald Donald Trump is making fun of Megyn Kelly on mm. Twitter. <laughs> it's like, this is amazing, you know? Dick? So, I think that um, the, the the reason I'm going to vote for Rand Paul is not because I have an expectation for him to win. Like you guys are saying, it's probably going to be someone like, I don't think it's going to be Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders, but it's going to be Bush and Clinton. I'm almost 100% sure of that, and it's probably going to be Clinton. Who knows? I, so I what's mean, your reason for I Rand mean, Paul? My, uh, well, Let's just take into consideration that we could vote for Vermin Supreme and he's going to lose, or we could vote for Rand Paul and he's going to lose. If we vote for Vermin Supreme and we let's say you know he got some amount of vote where he got some national attention and people said, man, people are voting for this guy with a boot on his head. What you know? What the hell are these people thinking? I don't think much good comes from that except oh well, a bunch of people. Really what don't good's going to come from Rand Paul getting two percent? Well, I think. Ron Paul getting a small percentage to vote really brought a lot of people to the Liberty community. It wasn't because Ron um, Paul got votes is why people joined the Liberty community. I don't know if you were around in 2008 and 2012. It was Ron Paul's campaign. It was his appearance in the uh, you know the debates where he actually got to talk about liberty and you know principle and talk to Republicans about legalizing heroin and get you know a standing ovation or whatever. <laughs> At the very least, he got applause. A lot of it uh, to to see those things happen were was one of the reasons why i got behind his campaign financially i mean nobody pays attention to the votes and says oh wow ron paul got eight uh, percent i should look him up no, no no anybody who was looking up ron paul looked him up because they heard him say something before uh the vote 
Dick, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate it. But, you know, I'm not trying to tell you not to go vote for Rand Paul. By all means, if you want to go vote for Rand Paul, go vote for Rand Paul. He's got the best policies on a Republican stage. Don't act like it's going to make a difference. 855, 453. I think I heard he was polling at 1% in New Hampshire. Just recently, we've witnessed some of the most catastrophic disasters in history. Be sure to prepare yourself with great-tasting, high-quality, GMO-free food that has a 25-year shelf life. Of course, we're talking about the foods from SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. And don't forget, the human body needs up to three quarts of water every day to remain healthy and hydrated. So check out our water bricks at SurvivalFoodAlliance.com. Go to SurvivalFoodAlliance.com or call 877-223-1776. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress, Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival, LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Paid non attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with Principal Office in Houston, Texas, is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice, and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention, Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24 7. Call 800 261 0937. That's 800 261 0937. Many are in disbelief today after word of shocking allegations against a Minnesota-based talk syndication company known as GCN. It's claimed that they're the fourth largest talk syndication company in the U.S., making it even more scandalous that they've been accused of helping business owners expose themselves on a massive scale. Let's go live to Tom for more on this story. It's being called the greatest exposure of our lifetime, while other business owners are beginning to step forward claiming they, too, exposed themselves (gasps) with the help of GCN. It's true. They're all guilty. Every last one of them. GCN helped me get the exposure my company needed, and just think, that was years ago. Today, GCN has like 700 affiliate stations and over 6 million downloads from iTunes and their website every month. Imagine the exposure your company can get. Expose your business to the masses. Email advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. GCN. My name is Dell, and I live in El Cajon, California. I was concerned about my cholesterol readings because I knew that high cholesterol is related to clogging of the arteries and increases the risk for heart attack and stroke. One day, I heard an ad for heart and body extract, and I was skeptical, but I decided to give it a try. Man, the numbers don't lie. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number tonight for you to bring up anything you want to discuss is 855 
450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you in studio, it's Ian, Danica, and Cantwell. And also, you can join us online. Just drop on by freetalklive.com. And if you like to buy things at Amazon, well, you can do that and save big time when you use save at purse.com. How about saving 20%? How about 25%? How about 29%? Maybe even more. I've saved 29%. I think my highest actually was 38%, but I don't remember what it was on. These headphones I'm wearing, I saved 29% off the Amazon price, which was already a pretty good price. How did you do that, Ian? By going to save at purse.com wow. and getting started there. Now, the, the trick is there's a catch. The catch is you got to spend Bitcoin. You can't just use your credit card or whatever to do this. That's not a catch. That's a feature. It really is. In fact, it's a feature of Bitcoin. This is a good reason to go and get Bitcoin. Absolutely. Because if you have Bitcoin, then you can get 20% off. That's the average on anything on uh, pretty much almost, almost anything on Amazon. I think that there are certain things by third-party vendors on Amazon that you can't use purse for. So I'm not sure exactly what those rules are. But if it's if it's an Amazon Prime item or free Super Saver shipping item, you can absolutely get that 20% off solid, easy. Just by spending Bitcoin, huh? Exactly. Save at purse.com as we continue. And I've heard, I've heard getting Bitcoin is like really easy. I mean, you could just go to like ExpressCoin.com and they've got Litecoin, Dogecoin, Darkcoin. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll tell you more about ExpressCoin here in a little bit because so it's super great. All right, let's continue with your calls and thoughts. If you got more on Rand Paul or whatever, that's fine too. Let's go to Andy in Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Andy. Hey, how are you doing, sir? I've called you before. I really appreciate your show. You guys raise some serious issues. Yes, we do. Yes, about. we do. Go ahead with your thoughts, Andy. And Okay, well, the first thing, I got like three points. Is that okay? I don't know. It depends on how long the first let's, one let's, takes. Let's work on the first one and well, see how you do. The first one is, is it, doesn't, it doesn't matter who you elect. You're going to still get a cabal uh, That's true. A presidential mm-hmm. candidate. You're just, you're just going to get some puppet. It doesn't matter. Even if it's Rand Paul, if they don't like what he's doing, they'll just kill him. It doesn't matter. It matters, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it matters. Do you really think <laughs> the rhetoric that comes out of the presidency of the United States changes public opinion? Okay, even if the you policy doesn't change. Right. I, you, you think for one right. second about what it's going to do to feminism and, and academia. If exactly. you've got Hillary Clinton up there talking about gender pay gaps, the patriarchy patriarchy and rape culture what that's going to do the relationships between men and women in this country alone before she races a single tax or wages a single war but as far as policy goes it's bs so anyway moving on to the second point uh this lady who refused to uh to to give marriage license to gay people uh as far as that goes uh you know you got this 10th amendment thing that says the state could stand behind her if they wanted to but the states are all sold and bought and paid for by this entire cabal that's running the country. Now, having said that, my first, my, you guys obviously knew this, my, my main event was uh, abortion. I think we all should have been aborted. Huh? And the reason why I think we all should have been aborted is because none of us have cojones to stand up to these people. We just talk about it and, and we, we go When you say these people, you mean the cabal you were, you were talking about? Well, as far as uh, the abortion thing goes, I think everybody should have been aborted because we're. No, I heard you say that. I'm asking you, Dave in New York. I I heard you say (laughs) that. I'm asking for clarification. When you said stand up to these people, you said none of us are willing to stand up to these people. These people, by these people, you you mean who? What our federal government, our 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 cabal. Define stand up. Stand up. We need to go hang these people from light posts in Washington, D.C. These people are okay. Chris is apparently ready to sign up for this. Uh, I, I'm not interested in using violence to solve my problems with these politicians. Um, okay, well, what are you going to do then? What are, what are you, you going to do, do about it? I mean, how many people would you need to go hang a politician from a light pole? I don't know exactly how many people I would need, but I'll tell you what, these guys are taking us in a direction. In well, let's see. You'd probably run up against, anyway, let's get a little so. realistic here. You'd probably run up against the D.C. police, maybe even some military members who might, you know, get gonna, You're going to no, definitely run into a conflict member. with the military once congressmen start swinging from trees, okay? Yeah, but yeah well, t- I'm a military member, so no, oh. I'm not worried about running up against the military. Yeah, well, I'll the tell you what, is- you'll get worried about it once you hang a congressman, okay? <laughs> but let me tell you something now. Look, when 
when you're we, absolutely right. I've done the but math the on this, sir. You're trying to figure out how many people you need, and I'm going to tell you, okay? Chris the, has thought the, long the, and hard the, the on people, this one. The people who are employed. You've know, you thought long and hard. That's, this is good. Well, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. listen to Chris I, now. Once once we had Dick on the phone, I just had to think long and hard. Now, uh, so the, 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 um, the number of people who are employed to do violence on behalf of the state, that includes law enforcement, military, both state, local, and federal, okay? Exactly. That, yeah, that yeah. as a percentage of the population, is 0.6% of the population okay it's a okay. very very small number yeah. of people okay so people have talked about like you know the first american revolution they, they, you know people talk about like three percent or something like three percent of the population fought yeah, on the side three, of the revolutionaries and then later it was seven percent yeah but you could do it. I mean, literally, you get 0.6% of the population on your side, and literally you could go wipe them all out in one fell swoop with revolvers. I mean, just one in the back of everybody's head and it's exactly. over. We because it doesn't matter. People. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make one single solitary bit of difference what a congressman says when there's nobody willing to go out and arrest the people no, who defy true. his right, will. Yeah. So you can, with a very small number of people, violently overthrow a government. And I'll tell you something, that ought to scare the life out of all of us, whether you're a, whether you're a libertarian a Democrat, a Republican, a communist. Because, because anyone could do it. Because anybody can I'm do not it. I'm any one of those. Well, I'm saying anybody, anybody, any group of fanatics can turn around and violently overthrow this government in the blink of an eye. And we do not live in a society where people are willing to stand up to whatever force comes in and does that, right? Well, yeah, that's the this thing. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know this where it's going to go I'm after that. About. Like, you know, you, you so, do so this killing thing that's that you're talking about here. Andy, hang on a sec. So you go and you kill a congressman <laughs> or five or ten or whatever, or, you know, try to kill cops— then what you're going to see happen is somebody else who's even more violent and dangerous is going to step in and try to come after you. Right, because you don't live in a place where people have been raised in a culture of resistance. People are taught to I- lay o- roll over and, and just, just expose their bellies and be and be taken. And that's the problem oh, that's that we live in. they have no cojones. Exactly. And I don't, I don't disagree with and your assessment, cojones. sir, that, that people who are unwilling to stand up and stop this really don't haven't earned the right to live in the first place. Place. But the thing is, the, one of my biggest uh, objections to this, besides the fact that I'm just against using violence as a as a means to an end, is that you know, what you've got here is that there's the people who advocate violence and who think about these things. And I'm not advocating. Hold violence. on, hold on, Andy. The people who you were talking about hanging congressmen, yeah. that's advocating that's pretty violence. violence. The people oh, who advocate okay, these things saying, are almost never saying. willing to actually engage in any other kind of resistance. They're not oh, willing to not pay their taxes. I'm ready to do that. Thank you, Andy, if for your I, call tonight. I, I appreciate it. We can't have a conversation. I'm just going to talk over top of each other. But I uh, appreciate the call. Um, so the, a lot of these people who are like, oh, tough talk. I'm going to kill this and that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, have you stopped paying taxes? No, I'm still paying all my taxes. Well, they, what they want to happen is like this big revolution with all these people joining up and, you know, murdering or hanging or whatever. But these are the same people they can't even convince to not pay taxes. I mean, these guys aren't even willing to put anything on the line. Yet we're supposed to believe they're going to go out and commit violence? It's just well, not going to happen. No, well, well, here's here's the other side of that coin, though, okay? And there was a great thing. Um, I forget exactly who wrote it on Liberty.me, actually. And somebody had um, written, um, Varys is riddled. You, ever, you didn't watch Game of Thrones, right? Uh, I watched two episodes. That Did you it. watch Game of Thrones? Danica? Oh, yeah, I'm all caught up. Okay. You, you might remember uh, Varys. He's like this uh, this political figure in Game of Thrones. And he says uh, he, he's got this riddle for Tyrion Lannister, the, the dwarf on the show. And he says, OK, you've got three great men in a room. You've got a priest, a rich man and a king. And there's and between them is a common sellsword, just, a you know, an assassin. Mm-hmm. And all three men bid the sellsword to kill the other two. Right. OK. So it's a question of where 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 does the power lie, right? You've got the priest, you've got the rich man, you've got the king. Who is the sellsword going to obey? Uh, whoever's got the money. Uh, it would be the rich man then. But uh, the idea being, it, it's it's the power lies where people believe it lies. Okay, people do mm-hmm. things based on what they expect others to do. So if you think everybody's going to stop paying their taxes, of course it makes sense to stop paying your taxes. If you think people are going to join you in a revolution, then yeah, fight a revolution. But if no. you think you're going to be the lone man who does it, there's no point. No, not everyone is going to fight. Not everyone is going to. A large enough number to make the difference. Yeah, probably not. Eight fifty five, four fifty three. We can't barely find people to move to New Hampshire. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. 
you certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Uh, no way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. The human body is more than 60% water. Your brain and muscles are 75% water. And your blood is 92% water. Water is vital to your body, and alkalizing your water is the key to keep it running at its best. AlkaVision Plasma pH drops keep your entire body healthy, boosts energy, promotes weight loss, and even fights cancer. Call 800-518-7615 or go to AlkaVision.com to find out more. That's A-L-K-A-Vision.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Sciatica, lower back pain, hip pain, poor posture. If you suffer from any of these problems, get ready to relax. Introducing an amazing product that's been in the market for over 25 years, the Sacro Wedgie. It was invented by a football coach using a common sense osteopath technique. He created this device to help his athletes by isolating and supporting the sacrum, which is the keystone of our anatomy. This wedge-shaped bone is in the center of our hips, where a lot of pain starts. Simply relax 20 minutes daily on the amazingly simple Sacro Wedgie and let Gravity do the work, helping muscles rebalance and start releasing nerves. Sit in the sacral wedgie at the computer or while traveling to help correct posture to finally help relieve those stubborn aches and pains for only $33.95. It's made in the USA, so click the family-owned website at sacrowedgie.com, spelled S-A-C-R-O-W-E-D-G-Y.com, or call 1-800-737-9295. That's 1-800-737-9295. Relax your back pain away with the sacral wedgie. Healthy, organic, fresh fish, robust, mouth-watering vegetables, all from your home. It's called aquaponics. This brilliant, self-sustaining protein and veggie system is perfect for year-round growing. Know exactly where your food is coming from. Aquaponicsource.com is the one-stop shop for all your needs. Fish, fish food, plumbing, full systems, classes, and more. Learn to build your own system. Go to aquaponicsource.com for a free guide to aquaponics. That's aquaponicsource.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. You may join us on the radio waves here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE or call Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. Tonight in studio, Ian here. Danica. And Cantwell. And you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Get interactive over there on Free Talk Live's website. And if you support this show, you like what we're doing here on uh, on the air seven nights a week, spreading the ideas of freedom as far and as wide as possible, we've got a little program called the AMP program. You can sign up for five bucks a month. With any major credit card, through PayPal, or you can do Visa or MasterCard right on our website, you get perks, of course, little bonuses like uh, access to the AMP-only call-in lines. T-shirts. T-shirts? Yeah. 
We've is there a t-shirt t-shirts. giveaway? There was once a t-shirt giveaway. Oh, there have there. been. Uh, there, at this moment, there are not any t-shirts. I didn't. I thought you were announcing something, Danica. No, but, uh, no, no, no. It's just like okay. there have been t-shirts, and yes. there might be t-shirts in the future. At some point, amplifiers are given special uh, options like that. Yes, um, but the, the the stuff that absolutely is available to you uh, right now includes uh, the Amp Only Forum, the Amp Only Podcast, as well as the uh, Amp Only Facebook group, which is a really cool group. Uh, Cantwell's in there, as a matter of fact. I'm I sure am. in there as well. Okay, good. Cantwell talks more than you do, so uh, I, I notice yeah. him more. Uh, I just I made a post about the gift our cards. Our oh yeah, th- that yeah. he does. He likes to pick fights. I don't usually pick fights. I, I get I, I get mentioned uh, you know more frequently than you know certain right. other hosts in there because every once in a while Gee, somebody I feels compelled why. to say like why is Cantwell there? He's awful. <laughs> you know there hasn't been a whole lot of that since we brought you back. There uh, there there was a couple I've people certainly who, seen less of it because I blocked half the ampers. <laughs> there, there were a few I people. Only positive. Yeah, I think it was mostly positive. Uh, there were a couple people who pulled their support, but overall, lots of uh, comments of "Welcome back, Cantwell," and "Glad to glad to have you back." I think most people are are welcoming and and forgiving and that kind of thing. So, good group of people, the amp yeah, folks. They are good, and thank you guys for amping the show. And if you aren't yet doing so, please consider it. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can learn more about the program there and how we're spending the money as well. That's a big question, right? Like, what do you do with these five bucks a month? Well, there are a few different things. We're doing advertising to talk radio stations to get Free Talk Live on the air. Uh, it it pro- you know provides money to do outreach directly to those stations, literally call them on a regular basis. We do uh, we go to industry conventions. We go to New York City once a year for the talkers convention that they have there where we schmooze it with the radio bigwigs. You can make all that possible for us. So please go to amp.freetalklive.com. It also helps us get the satellite signal on in more places around the globe. So once again, that's amp.freetalklive.com. Yeah, and I'll and I'll tell you, I mean, short of donating to me, it's the best way that you can spend your money, folks. Uh, <laughs> the the uh, you know, Free Talk Live, what oh, is it? Thanks, 100, 150 plus broadcast stations across it's the United true. States. Who who else is doing that? No one. Nobody is doing that. So all of this other stuff. I mean, uh, I was I was amping before I came back to New Hampshire. Thank you. I was amping when I was in New York. It's not because I'm a host that I ended up in that group. I am because put you it's in there a, anyway. But... It's a good it's a good use of the resources, ladies and gentlemen. I think so you're the only host to actually amp the show, which is un- it's not a requirement. I mean, to I amp the show. What are you oh, you do? About? Okay. Like, Ian, seriously. <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, know who all of the amplifiers are personally. I, I I'm hurt. I'm sorry I'm about totally that, hurt. <laughs> so amp.freetalklive.com. Uh, let's continue here. We do have Eddie Free on the line calling from Texas. He's on Skype. Hello, Eddie Free. Eddie. Hey, guys. Hey, Chris. How are you guys? Good to talk to you, pal. It's been a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, hey, listen. So, um, you know, you guys are talking about uh, rights being trampled. And, uh, well, that just happened here Tuesday. Um, here in Texas, September 1st is uh, opening day on dove hunting. Okay. And um, it's a big tradition here. Um, you know, a lot of people know about it. And it, it's really popular. And, kind of a social event you know family members and friends all get together and then they and they hunt dove for the afternoon and when they're done they you know hang out and drink a few beers and well these guys there were six guys that were hunting dove hunting on private property uh, next to an air force base uh outside of san angelo and the air force base it, it's protected by a security gate and um well, their military police rolled up on these guys, uh, held them at gunpoint, um, held them for 30 minutes or so, uh, spread eagle on the ground. Two of them were, were on asphalt in 100-degree weather. Oh, gosh. Wow. One of, them, one of them was forced to lay in a bed of ants oh, and man. wasn't allowed to move. <sighs> that's, and, that's medieval, man. Yeah. Uh, it, the base commander said that they were perceived as a as a threat. Just because they were shooting on private property that happened to be adjacent to a military base. Correct. And and shooting in the air, like I I, I I'm it's obviously awful, and I you know have no 
sympathy for the military, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm saying to myself, hmm, we're shooting guns in the air That's at an Air Force right? base. Like, I'm not, like, you're lucky that it was some military police rolled up and, you know, pointed guns at you and not, like, airstrikes. I'm thinking, right, like, this I'm is, being fired upon. <laughs> I, yeah, I can understand that, but this is something that they do every year. I mean, it was even the property owner was with them. Now, what would stop, in in theory, you know, nothing would stop the shots from going into the military base if they were pointing the wrong direction, right? Like what? Yeah, but it's it's like eight shot. It would be like shooting powder by the time it gets out, you know, fifty yards, seventy yards. Oh, really? I mean, so it's not gonna, you're saying it's not going to fall? It's not going to fall on somebody from uh, hundreds of feet in the air and like put a, a put a hole through their head? They're, they're shooting bird shot into the air, right? So it's like yeah, I've been peppered with bird shot. It, it's just you know, it stings a little bit, but you know, I was fairly close. But it it it, hmm. it there, you know, it loses all of its. Uh, it's a uh, um, a force very quickly. Very, right. It's a very you, small shot. Yeah, if you put a if you put like a thirty eight in the air, it's going to come down with the same velocity that velocity that it went up with, right? Like you've heard stories yeah. about this from time to time. Like a bullet comes and hits somebody from out yeah, of nowhere. Yeah, horrifying. Yeah, uh, with I what he's describing is the the type of ammunition that they're using to shoot doves is not going to have that effect. It's going to be little tiny particles of metal. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, thanks for clearing that up. I've never gone uh, hunting before, so I don't know all the ins and outs of the different kinds of uh, bullets that you're using. So uh, what's going to happen as a result of this? Is I mean, can you even sue the military for doing something like that? How do you, how do you respond to that? It's going to be up to the property owner, I guess, and the guys that were involved in it. The article that I read it in, it, it, it didn't, it didn't say anything else about it. But um, what did I'll they do to them? I mean, after they, I'm sorry, after they uh, forced them to lay on the ground for a long period of time and held them at gunpoint, did they just decide, okay, you can go now, or did they take their guns from them, or what happened? Uh, no, they, they 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 let them go, and in fact, the property owner and the hunters they called the police and they called the game warden, they called uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife. And they came out there and, you know, just to make sure that, hey, our, what we're doing is lawful, isn't it? And it completely was. I mean, it's private property. Okay, so this was this is a thing. They're not even there to enforce laws. They're just like, hey, we perceive you as a threat, so we're going to give you a hard time. Exactly. That's all it was. And, I mean, they're opening themselves up for lawsuit if they can do it. I mean, if they can sue, their, their, uh, their, their rights were absolutely violated. Yeah, I hope mm -hmm. the property owner pursues something against them. It'll be an interesting story to follow if he does. I'll follow up with you guys uh, as soon as I hear something. Yeah, please do. Eddie, are you you living down in Texas, or are you just visiting, or what's going on with you? No, I'm, down here. I'm down here outside of uh, west side of Houston, outside of Houston, in a little town called Katy. You're and, going um, the wrong direction, Eddie Free. You used to live <laughs> in uh, in Washington, D.C. the last time you called the show. Now you've moved to Texas. You should be in New Hampshire. He's slightly more free in Texas, but yeah. Yeah, a little bit better than D.C., I imagine. Yeah, I'm a lot better than, uh, than D.C., but um, there, my heart is... In Texas, and the other half of it is definitely up there in the Shire. So why Texas? I mean, this is a big place. There's, what, 26 million people living there or something like that? Yeah, um, just uh, with work. Um, oh, work, it, okay. Houston, there's just, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, Houston kind of holds out um, a little better than the rest of the country as far as the economy. That is true. Thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. Well, the economy in New Hampshire is actually very good. It's the best, uh, from what I understand, in the Northeast. Jo unemployment is very low here compared to... A lot of states, and of course, there's not as many you know government regulations. James Cleveland is uh, also known as Robin Hood uh, of Keene. He's an entrepreneur, and he says that you know the business that he runs, he could never do the way he does in uh, in Georgia, where he's from. There's just it's easier to open a business, he said, uh, from a legal standpoint here in New Hampshire. And and New Hampshire isn't even the best state for business. There's a lot of regulations that we I think we need to clear up, but. You know, one of the things that uh, we're trying to do here is encourage liberty-minded people to come together into the same place so we can have a, a greater effect on the political system. And that's actually happening here where liberty-minded folks who would probably best be described as anarchists or voluntarists or, you know, hardcore libertarians are actually getting elected to office. And there are more than 15 of them who are currently elected right now at the state house and i'm only talking about free staters if you include all the new hampshire natives who care about freedom mm -hmm. there are even more of them uh, in the state house so if you're looking for political success for the liberty movement look no further than new hampshire it's a lot easier to drive from Keene to uh, the state capital than to drive to the state capital for most of the places in texas 
It's just not even possible. That place is so big. You couldn't possibly. And you certainly wouldn't get the access that you get here. No right. way. No. Yeah, you can actually talk to these politicians and they know who you are. Uh, 855-450 free. This is Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Does being over 40 make you feel like half the man you used to be? You feel more tired, out of shape, not in the mood like you used to be? Thanks to an exclusive formula, you can help boost testosterone levels safely and naturally. Introducing Ageless Male, a life-changing supplement for men tested to help increase testosterone levels. You'll notice a boost in your energy levels, workouts work, sex life improves. It's like a light switch goes on. Try Ageless Male risk-free if you would like to experience what taking Ageless Male can feel like. Support for healthy, normal testosterone levels, healthy energy, and increased performance, and more romance when you want it. Call 1-800-327-4821. That's 1-800-327-4821. 800-327-4821. 800-327-4821. That's 1-800-327-4821. You're listening to GCN, the world leader in independent talk radio. Breaking news this hour from townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. Migrants stranded for days in Hungary are boarding buses chartered by the government to take them to the border with Austria, which says it and Germany will grant them unhindered entry. U.N. High Commissioner for Refugees Antonio Guterres is urgently calling on every single European Union country to help refugees who are desperately fleeing violence and trying to resettle. We really need a massive relocation program in which all European states need to participate. Uh, in the first estimate we have made, uh, uh, we consider that that program will need to be uh, up to 200,000 people. Thousands have been stuck in Budapest where police refuse to allow them to board trains for their destinations in Europe. An attorney for Kentucky clerk Kim Davis says she has a clean conscience as she sits in jail for contempt because she refused to issue marriage licenses to homosexual couples. Matt Staver, founder of Liberty Council, says the marriage forms could easily be changed to remove her name. Judge Bunning himself, instead of incarcerating an innocent woman, <clears throat> could have ordered that the forms be changed accordingly to accommodate Kim Davis's reasonable accommodation request. Staver says Davis is in very good spirits and is prepared to stay as long as it takes to uphold her religious freedoms. Motorola Solutions is offering a $50,000 reward for information leading to the capture of three suspects in the murder of Illinois police officer Charles Glinowitz. In support of the Fox Lake Police Department's efforts to solve this horrible crime, Motorola Solutions is pledging $50,000 for a $50,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of those responsible. That's Motorola Vice President Ali Kapadia. Glinowitz was killed while pursuing the three suspects last Tuesday in Fox Lake. More on these stories at townhall.com. Now through Labor Day Monday is your last chance to discover for free untold stories about your ancestors. Ancestry has just released an entirely new category of content, never before available online in the U.S. It's an unprecedented collection of U.S. wills and probate records that span 200 years. And now through Monday, we're allowing free unlimited access. Plus birth, marriage, and death records are also open to search for free too. Visit tryancestry.com. That's T-R-Y ancestry.com. 
I don't like sit-down dinners, I don't go to sit-down strikes. I like standing room only, and I don't ride bikes. This pretty bad song is by a guy with pretty bad hemorrhoids. He needs Preparation H relief with the power of two. First, use fast-acting Preparation H medicated wipes, then longer-lasting Preparation H maximum strength cream. Let's sit together on the porch swing. Preparation H. Don't stand for hemorrhoids. Use as directed. And try specially formulated medicated wipes for women. GOP presidential candidate Donald Trump accuses a conservative radio host of asking gotcha questions. During a Thursday interview with Hugh Hewitt on the Salem Radio Network, Trump stumbled on some foreign policy questions. When he couldn't identify the leaders of major terrorist groups, Trump complained about gotcha questions. You're we asking me names that, uh, you know, I think it's somewhat ridiculous. And on Friday, Trump resorted to name-calling on MSNBC's Morning Joe program, describing Hewitt as a third-rate announcer. Hewitt it will be one of the moderators at the next GOP debate. Greg Clugston, the White House. A New York City school teacher is facing charges of reckless endangerment and operating a drone. Daniel Verley allegedly crashed a drone into an empty section of seats at the U.S. Open tennis tournament last night. No one was hurt. One of the players on the court at the time, Flavia Panetta of Italy, said she initially thought it was a bomb. News and analysis at townhall.com. I'm Keith Peters. St. Louis County police say an 11-year-old boy fatally shot a 16-year-old intruder during a home invasion robbery attempt. The 11-year-old who was inside picked up uh, a handgun and fired one round striking the, uh, the suspect and, and fatally wounding him. That's St. Louis County Police Sergeant Brian Shellman, courtesy KTVI-TV. A four-year-old girl was also inside the home. Neither she nor the 11-year-old was hurt. Shellman says the children's mother wasn't home at the time, but is cooperating with investigators. What we believe at this time uh, through speaking with the mother is that uh, she had purchased this handgun because of several attempts uh, to actually get inside of the home. Police believe the 16-year-old team made it inside the home on his third attempt to break in. Authorities have not identified a second suspect who they say fled the scene but was found a short time later. More on these stories at townhall.com. No way. Is that a real bullet necklace? No, it's a 9mm bullet necklace with matching earrings, you'll notice. Those are awesome. Where'd you get them? Dave found them at PatriotNecklace.com. Wow. They have a variety of calibers and necklaces and earrings and keychains. PatriotNecklace.com? PatriotNecklace.com. Your choice of caliber bullet includes a rugged American-made stainless steel dog tag chain. A percentage of every sale goes to military and service-related charities. And get a discount by entering GCN at checkout. Show your patriotism and support our troops with a bullet necklace from PatriotNecklace.com. Do you owe the IRS money? Has the IRS garnished your wages or put a lien against your house? The IRS has the power to make you pay back what they claim you owe and will stop at nothing to collect. There is a solution. Call Signature Tax now. Speak with our professionals and feel the weight of your tax burden lifted from your shoulders. Call now for your free and confidential analysis. 800-481-3147. Again, that's 800-481-3147. 800-481-3147. Hey, you can join us on the radio here on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And that again is 855-450-3733. More coming up here, including the cop who basically falsified evidence to make it look like he was attacked. When, yeah. In point of fact. What a poor guy. In point oh, falsifying evidence is the understatement of the year in this case. Yeah, we'll, we'll hear more about that here in a moment. But also Kim Davis, the Rowan County clerk in jail due to uh, contempt of court. People are protesting outside of the courthouse for various different reasons. That's something that uh, we had more to say on because we just barely scratched the surface the the beginning of the show. Been a lot of calls tonight, and that's the way I like Free Talk Live. So you can join us here at 855-450-FREE, and uh, you can bring up anything that happens to be on your mind. 855-450-3733. Let's go to the phones and the fun. We've got John listening in Nevada to LRN.FM. Hello, John. Hi, guys. Hey, welcome. Um, I don't want to be taken as defending uh, the policy that Kim Davis wants uh to be enacted, but uh, I hear a lot of libertarians uh, criticizing her, saying, uh, well, she's not doing her job, as if that's a criticism in and of itself. 
That would just like to remind libertarians that in most cases, we don't want government officials to do their jobs, because usually to do their jobs is to do something bad. So if a cop was, say, not going to arrest people for smoking pot mm -hmm. or for carrying weapons peacefully, then I don't think libertarians should be saying, well, he's not doing his job and he has to go. No, I see where you're coming from. However, you could argue in that case, though, that the policeman is doing his job because all police are given discretion. Well, they're not given infinite discretion. They are supposed to enforce. They're, they're supposed to enforce laws, and a lot of the laws they're supposed to enforce are wrong. And there's a lot of other things mm -hmm. that other public do that are wrong that we would prefer to see them not do. Yeah, but they are given discretion, and they pretty much can use it in any case, with the exception of a few felonies, I believe. I'm not sure exactly the details on the things that they aren't supposed to use discretion on. But, uh, you know, things like drug possession, they absolutely can use discretion. They can look the other way, and that is part of their job. Well, the other the other thing that you've got of this is, is that whether it's a police officer or anybody else, these people have oaths of office. Okay? That's true, too. And I've actually got right in front of me, if you want, I'll read it out loud. I've got Kim Davis's oath of office right in front of me here. Okay. And it reads, I do solemnly swear or affirm, as the case may be, that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as I can continue a citizen thereof, and that I will faithfully execute to the best of my ability the office of blank insert office here, according to law. And I do further solemnly swear or affirm that since yeah. the adoption of the present Constitution, I, being a citizen of this state, have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state, nor out of it, <laughs> nor have I sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, <laughs> nor have I acted as a second in carrying a challenge, nor aided or assisted any person in thus off offending, so help me God. Now, listen to me. The fact of the matter is, is if her job is to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the laws of Kentucky, then telling the, the Supreme Court to pound sand is exactly what she was supposed to do. The Supreme Court had absolutely no authority to cram gay marriage down the throats of Kentucky voters. That was not something that these people voted for. It was not something that they wanted. And it's not a power of the United States federal government to go and to define marriage for people. So she did exactly what she was supposed to do. She was doing her job and she's being jailed in, uh, for it in order to scare the life out of religious people in this country, it is it is an atrocity what's happening to Kim Davis. Hmm. That's an interesting perspective, Chris. I hadn't uh, thought about it from mm -hmm. from that direction. John? Well, uh, that's, you know, what Chris said is well and good. It's also not a legitimate authority of state government uh, to uh, c to legislate marriage either. Of course, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not standing up for marriage licenses in this case. What I'm all I'm saying here is that this is an edict from the federal government. Okay, and if we're talking about the context of the situation, where you know, if we're going to let's just pretend for a second that governments have legitimate authority, right? And it's not just a bunch of guys with guns. Let's just mm -hmm. pretend that there's a legal system here. There's a legal system that's based on a constitution, and that constitution is supposed to limit the power of these of these authorities. And that and that Tenth Amendment right there says, hey, you don't have power that are not defined here, and marriage is not one of the powers defined. And so for the federal government, for the Supreme Court to turn around and because the politics of the of the sitting justices say that gay marriage is just a swell policy that we all think everybody should have, well, we're going to go and cram this down the throats of everybody else. And all these leftists, all these people, love wins the day lunatics, will probably tell you how wonderful democracy is when they're not out subverting it through the court system and jailing religious people for enacting their beliefs and upholding the constitution of the government that we under which they work. Okay, just curious, Chris, if she changed, let's just say it wasn't the feds who did this. Let's say Kentucky went ahead and, you know, legalized gay marriage. If she continued to refuse, would you uh, then say she should do her job? If she's, if she's working for the state of Kentucky and the state of Kentucky um, legalizes gay marriage mm -hmm. and she refuses to carry out the orders of her, you know, quote unquote, legitimate government, well, then, the, then that government should fire her from her job. Not right. doing your job is a good reason to get fired from your job. I it's not agree. a good reason to throw somebody in a jail cell. I agree with that. She definitely I doesn't agree. belong in jail. Uh, John, any other thoughts you want to share? Well, yeah, I would, I would say she definitely doesn't belong in jail, especially since there is a there is a clear legal procedure for removing her from office peacefully. So it's just, it's stupid. A judge should have looked at that and said, there's nothing for me to do here. You have a way to take her out of office. Take her out of office if that's what you do. Thanks, John, uh, for your call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. So let me just 
come, uh, I guess, summarize what you just said and make sure I understood it right. The uh, state of New Hampshire legalized gay marriage. I did not blink an eye, Mm -hmm. okay? When the federal government turns around and crams this down the throats of everybody in all 50 states, I hit the roof over that, Mm. okay? I'm not anti-gay, right? I'm not, I know, you know, if people want to, you know, uh, get into a relationship and call it a marriage and sign a contract, have at it, okay? But the federal government turning around and, and seizing a massive power like that is so ridiculously offensive to me and Mm. it should be ridiculously offensive to anybody who cares about freedom i lost my mind when i saw libertarians changing their profile pictures to rainbows when the supreme court made this decision that was the most ridiculous thing that i have seen in the history of this movement and i have seen some ridiculous things come out of the mouths of libertarians this was awful this was a huge power grab on the behalf of the federal government and that's what you're seeing in the Mm. case of kim davis that they're like no we have a pro gay agenda and we will jail you if you if you defy us and that is sick and dangerous it's scary for sure the and, and you also can look at the cases with uh the, the cake makers or whatever yeah where absolutely like a gay makers. couple coming in and they want to have a cake but the person doesn't want to make the cake because of whatever objection and then all of a sudden they're being forced to by some government board or some bureaucrats under the threat of violence and i think that's absolutely horrifying please stop saying that love is in, in any way involved Involved in this situation, I don't think there's any love on either side. Because these look the the the, the ideologues behind this. It's a hate group, okay? It, that's that's what it is. It's not love wins the day. It's not, no. uh, we're, we just want to love each other. No, you hate other people, and you're going out, and you're using violence against them through the state, and you are suppressing the religious majority of this country. For all your talk about you're democracy, atheist. yeah, I have. I take no pleasure in standing up for religious people, <laughs> believe me when I tell you, okay? I hate that I'm in this position where I'm compelled to do this, because I don't like it. I think religion is a child abuse in no sort of of circumstances. I think it's one of the most deleterious influences that we have ever had introduced into human society. But I also say that it's even worse when you're going to have a government turn around and and promote what is essentially an anti-breeding agenda. Like, hey, everybody be gay. This is like better. Do do that. And if you don't like it, well, we'll throw you in jail. Hmm. So what's happening outside the courthouse? Uh, Kentucky.com reporting from Ashland, where Rowan County Court Clerk Kim Davis, or not court clerk, I keep saying that, Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis has gone to jail. Carl Guyman Jr. says justice has been served and love and equality has prevailed. Close by, hundreds of those who supported Davis stood silently. Others prayed and sang hymns. In the hours leading up to the decision by District Judge David Bunning to jail Davis for refusing to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples, the two groups yelled, preached, and chanted on the sidewalk, sometimes exchanging heated words. Dan Ruchinski held a sign that read, America, God hates your sin, and used a portable microphone to preach to the hundreds of people who had arrived hours before the 11 a.m. hearing. Like I said, I see a lot of hate on both sides of this. I don't think anybody here is really standing for love. Our toll-free number, if you want to share your thoughts, 855-450-FREE. The vet had them on antibiotics as well as steroids. Nothing worked. The vet had given them a cortisone. The vet prescribed an antihistamine. The vet thought that Molly was just old. Probably three to $400 every four months. At least $5,000 in vet bills. All total, $2,700 in doggy fees, and all it took was one container of Dynavite. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E dot com. 859-428-1000. The omega-3 fatty acids. Flaxseed, zinc, alfalfa. The digestive of enzymes that are cooked out of regular dog food. The ingredients are what the veterinarian said he was lacking. Within two days, his scratching, it seemed to go away. After five weeks, her fur is beautiful. She is totally happy. Molly's gotten this puppy look. Her coat has sheen. Oh, yes. Everything we tried failed except the Dynavite. My vet was completely blown away. 859-428-1000. 859-428-1000. D-I-N-O-V-I-T-E oh. dot com. It's time to build your own emergency food stockpile with the industry leader, My Patriot Supply. Once you try them, you'll know why so many Americans like you have made them part of their emergency preparedness plan. Experience the My Patriot Supply difference today with this unbelievable offer. Right now, a four-week food supply is only $99, and that includes free shipping. That's 50% off the online price. Call 800-274-3070 to claim yours. Limit two per 
caller while supplies last. This offer isn't available online, so you want to make sure and grab this opportunity to get prepared today. 800-274-3070 to get your four-week food supply for the incredible price of only $99, and it'll be shipped to you completely free. Call 800-274-3070 right now. That's 800-274-3070 to claim yours while supplies last. Don't wait. Call today. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Friends, this is Alex Jones for MidasResources.com. For more than 15 years, I have exclusively used Midas Resources for all my precious metal needs. Whether it's bullion or collectibles you're looking for, Midas Resources is simply the best. I own my gold as a hedge against inflation. This Federal Reserve fiat currency could go the way of the Deutschmark and the Weimar Republic anytime. In these historically dangerous times, it makes sense to physically hold gold and silver. Midas already has some of the best deals in the industry. But if you give them a call and mention the radio special, they will give you a list of the day's super specials. Midas brokers are standing by to answer all your questions at 800-686-2237. They also have a lot of informative free literature explaining the opportunities and risk of holding precious metals. They are ready to answer your questions at 800-686-2237. Again, that's 800-686-2237. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. Now, more Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. If you want to share your thoughts on this clerk who has been jailed until further notice, apparently, on contempt of court charges... And I think it's important to talk about contempt of court, so we'll do that. What does it really even mean? What is contempt of court? Uh, we'll get into that. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Plus, what are some of the people saying outside of the courthouse, the protesters that are out there arguing with one another? Uh, Liberty Health Share, however, is something you need to know about. If you're sick of this Obamacare nonsense, this government-run health care, well, there's a movement in health care today, and it's a movement of people that are ready to stand up and take charge of their own health care, like you and I, people who are tired of paying too much for health care and getting too little, people who are standing up for their values and letting their conscience make decisions based on timeless principles. It's a movement sweeping the nation, and you should be a part of it. Liberty Health Share is the leading that movement of people who are looking for an alternative to traditional health insurance. Liberty Health Share is a health care sharing organization of people who are sharing the cost of health care in an easy and efficient way. You choose your own doctor your own hospital, and live out your values in healthcare. Join the movement, and we can change healthcare for good. LibertyHealthShare.org is their website. That's LibertyHealthShare.org, or you can call them toll-free at 855-58-LIBERTY. That's 855-58-LIBERTY, or LibertyHealthShare.org. With you in studio, you do have Ian here. Danica. And Cantwell. Uh, the lady that is in jail right now, until further notice, Kim Davis, the Rowan County clerk. There's a lot of different, uh, I think, viewpoints on this. And uh, Cantwell, i got to say, yours is an interesting one. You say that she should have been disobeying the essentially the order to issue these marriage licenses because the uh, decision by the Supreme Court in your interpretation was unconstitutional and she swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, so therefore it, she's within her rights to not 
follow those orders. It's it's within her duty to not follow those orders, frankly. You're going to have the United States is a foreign government to Kentucky, okay? When mm-hmm. these people start turning around and and doing things that are outside of their constitutional authority. The word marriage never gets mentioned in the constitution. That's complete nonsense that the federal government has any authority over it whatsoever. Okay? So if the the same thing when the Republican candidates get up there and say they want a ban on on gay marriage, right? You know, mm-hmm. and and you've had Republican presidential candidates talk about this. They rightly say we have to have a constitutional amendment if we want to ban gay marriage because we don't have the constitutional authority to do that in the Congress. The Republican Party, who has not been friendly to the Constitution over the years, mind you, no. knows that they have no authority to ban gay marriage. And these religious zealots have enough common sense to get up there and say the only way that we could do this is with a constitutional amendment. Mm-hmm. But the left, they're like, constitutional amendment, that's what the courts are for. Yeah. Right. And they go into the courts and they say, well, we've got just the right people in there. We've had just enough Democratic presidents over the years that we can get a 5-4 decision out of this and cram it, stick it to those reactionary conservative religious zealots once and for all. Right. And that's what they do. And it's and it's sick and sadistic that they do it. It's a really terrible thing. And like I said, well, this is what government does. Segment, it like turns people against segment, each segment, other. I did not blink an eye when New Hampshire legalized gay marriage. I didn't think twice about it. I said, fine, what do I care? Right. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's but been fine. Everything. When it's great. the federal government does it, they have no authority to do that. So when they cram this down the throats of Kentucky citizens, and the citizens say we did not want this, and then the, and then the people that they elect to office turn around and say, no, federal government, we're not going to do that. Hmm. Well, then they should be st- they should be sticking by this woman. The Kentucky courts should be saying, go pound sand, SCOTUS. The the, the Kentucky legislature now, should be demanding that judge. she be released. This was a federal judge who did uh, send her to jail. For well, then contempt, then apparently. the state authorities should go break her out of prison. Is what they should do because she's been kidnapped illegally well you and i both know that uh the state government goons will not do anything against the of course government. not which is why they're fundamentally useless right they'll get you got their a foreign government cut. jailing your citizens over powers that they don't have they'll get their funding cut if they don't do what they're told there's so much money that comes from the federal government oh, with all yeah. these strings attached to it for these local and state governments they are owned lock stock and barrel uh, by the federal government, and the and the other and the other thing to this, as you mentioned when we came back, this is she's in jail until this is not she's gonna spend thirty days or she's got some penalty coming to her. It's an open ended she, sentence. She's in contempt of court, and you know what? They're not gonna let her go until she changes her mind. So this woman's got religious convictions. Until she agrees to do uh, fill out these forms, right? Or whatever. They're not gonna fire her. They're gonna hold her in jail until she renounces her deity. I mean, how sick is that, that this is happening in, in the United States of America? Well, it's pretty yeah. crazy. I'll, I'll, I'll certainly give you that. And it comes back around to a point I made when uh, when I start, we started the show about this, and that is that when you join up with the state, you've changed your religion. See, this is something she doesn't really realize, and most people don't realize it either. The state is a crazy, dangerous, hate-filled religion. Yeah. and. If you are truly a Christian or truly somebody who's supposedly, you know, because a Christian is supposed to be somebody who emulates Christ and, you know, Christ was a loving person who, you know, was not a violent person, etc. By joining the state, you're joining a criminal enterprise that is a, essentially its own religion. Look at the trappings of the state. You've got in the courtrooms, pews. You've got icons, re- religious icons that people will chant in a very religious manner. Uh, they'll chant a, a pledge to this religious icon. And if they'll you are, stand up for they'll chant. Yeah, they'll stand up for it. They put hands. their hand over their hearts. And, uh, you know, and if you are a Christian or any, you know, a lot of religions w- would not like you to be worshiping something else besides their yeah, God. It's right? absolutely. It's idolatry. They, they were pretty clear about that one. So she, in my opinion, threw away her religious conviction when she decided to take a job with the state and do their evil bidding. Uh, although I think you make some solid points, Chris, that you know if she had a conscience, she should go ahead and exercise it, and I, I get that. Um, and I, and I, I think that this whole situation is just messed up from top to bottom. You've got two different groups: the you know religious zealots 
in this case. You've got the uh, the gay marriage folks who want to cram it down people's throats. They're all fighting with one another. And it's a perfect example of how the government turns people against one another. And it pits interest group against interest group. And then eventually what's happening is, you know, one group gets control of whatever state apparatus or federal apparatus. And then they shove their views down the other group's throat. And then the other group gets in control of it. And it's like, oh, well, we got screwed over for the last 50 years or, you know, 20 years or 10 years or whatever. Well, now we're going to screw you back. And then it's, you know, it's just like back and forth over and over again. And anybody who thinks that this is helping gay people is out of their minds. Yeah. You are going to see, you're already seeing it, but this, backlash, this right? is huge, yeah. okay? You know, when you talk about conservatism, a lot of people refer to it as reactionary, right? Okay, they're, they're just trying to maintain the existing social order and income these people who just want to upend everything and create chaos in the social structure, right? And so they're they're going to react, okay? And I, I'm finding myself in a position where I'm looking at all this stuff and I end up, you know, I was really far more interested in discussing economics and stuff like that, and, and I'm seeing all of this social issue stuff being shoved down everybody's throats, and I've gotten to a point where I am reacting to it. I'm mm -hmm. behaving like a reactionary. I'm taking a more conservative line because I'm just like, what the heck are these people doing? And a lot of people are starting to go through that, that they're like, okay, well, I'm a libertarian. I don't care about gay marriage. I don't care about abortion. I don't care about this, whatever, whatever. And then they're seeing what these people are doing with the state apparatus to shove this down people's throats, and they are reacting to it and they're angry and they're going to do something about it and when these people get control of state apparatus don't Look think out. that that's going to help gay people it's going to be a disaster that's a great point our toll-free number tonight 855-450-FREE 855-450-3733 but what does it even mean to be held in contempt i don't think a lot of people really know i mean they don't even understand what contempt is bad and news we should talk about that too it's free talk live Owe ten thousand dollars or more to the IRS? Get on board with the tax admiral. Don't take on the IRS alone. I'll cut penalties and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. If you owe ten thousand dollars or more, then call the tax admiral. Call eight hundred two eight seven seven one eight zero. Again, that's eight hundred two eight seven seven one eight zero. Eight hundred two eight seven seven one eight zero. Hey, Berkey Guy here. Are you still drinking unfiltered tap water? Does your water contain chlorine or fluoride? Will you have drinkable water in an emergency? The Berkey Guy is here to help you remove these and other potential contaminants from your water, thus helping you drink clean, purified water. We offer Berkey water purification systems at the lowest available prices online. Don't go another moment without Berkey System. Over the last 10 years, we've helped thousands drink clean, purified water. Join them by visiting GoBerkey.com or call me, the Berkey Guy, at 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Hi, my name is Scott Fuchs, teacher and rowing coach for over 14 years. I was sluggish, overweight, on prescription drugs, and only 30-something. Fortunately, I was referred to Dr. Z, and happy to say Dr. Z's all-natural protocols over a consistent course resolved my health issues. I'm in the best shape of my life, and most importantly, on zero medications. I'm Dr. Zdanowski, author of Evology. Trained as a primary care physician, surgical manipulation under anesthesia, Expert in nutrition, diet, weight loss, immune system, and I specialize in chiropractic. My 15 years of professional experience has taught me the four keys to vibrant health, a balanced muscular skeletal system, an integrated nervous system, a flowing lymphatic system, and a body filled with over 90 essential nutrients. This has been a secret too long. Actualize your potential, reverse disease. Call me, Dr. Z. 201-945-1177, 201-945-1177, evolveyourself.com. This is Sharon Hunt. Before using heart and body extract, my energy level was very, very low. I could only walk a few feet and then would have to sit down. I was tired and lethargic. But after taking heart and body extract, my energy level has improved greatly, and I can now walk longer distances without getting tired so fast. Thank you, heart and body extract. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Gold, it's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. 
According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. KDArmor.com is your one-stop shop for the most affordable body armor, period. With packages starting at $169.99 and free shipping on every order. KD offers soft armor and rifle threat rated armor up to level 4. Go to KDArmor.com and get your body armor today while you still can. Mention this ad and receive a free tactical scarf for a limited time with any body armor package. That's KDArmor.com. Come and take it. This is Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. We will not hold you in contempt. We don't have that power. In fact... The uh, idea of contempt isn't even a legislated thing. It's just a, it's just a power that you know they, these judges have by virtue of the fact that they wear a robe. They can just send you to jail for an indefinite period of time for whatever reason they darn well feel like. That's yeah. contempt. It is. It is established in law. I'm actually looking at the the federal contempt law here in uh, um, Title Forty Two. Oh, really? Yeah, at uh, well, chapter in- 21, subchapter 1995. Um, and it, it appears to me here, uh, it says, uh, the, um, In all cases of criminal contempt arising under the provisions of this act, the accused upon conviction shall be punished by fine or imprisonment or both. Provided, however, that in, the ca- in, that in case the accused is a natural person, the fine to be paid shall not exceed the sum of $1,000, nor shall imprisonment exceed the term of six months. So it appears except, to me that there is an upper limit on this. Except, here's the thing with the upper limit. Now, I don't know what the federal law is on this, but at least in most places, my understanding is if it goes beyond six months, the judge just simply has to explain himself. Like, he, he can be called into some sort of committee or whatever. There's some sort of oversight panel of other judges who will call him in to explain himself or like maybe you have to petition for that to happen. I'm not really sure exactly how that works. If you're an attorney or you know a thing or two about uh, what happens beyond that six month time frame. So generally you will see judges not handing out more than 180 days for contempt, but if they do, they can still get away with it. It's just that they have to kind of give their reasons to some other judges before they'll sign off on it. That's it. You can still put put somebody in. In fact, there have been people held in contempt for years and years. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I read a little bit further, and it says, This section shall not apply to contempts committed in the presence of the court or yep. so near thereto as to interfere directly with the administration of justice nor to misbehavior, misconduct, or disobedience of any officer of the court in respect to writs, orders, or process of the court. So it seems to me that this limit that i just uttered yeah. might not actually be the case right there uh, there's a way away, uh, a way around that and so the the contempt power um was just sort of this western judicial system thing yeah but and it's a near plenary thing like i mean it's 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 like an absolute it's an awesome power to yes. basically jail anybody who you feel has disrespected you that's exactly right we've had our friends uh jail for contempt i've been jailed for contempt and uh, in my case, I didn't sit down fast enough. That was my reason for getting my first contempt charge. Another contempt charge I caught because when I was uh, the court trial was over, I was fined $120 and asked if I could uh, pay it, and I refused to answer that question. And so I was hit with contempt for refusing to answer that question. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was hit with another contempt, I think, because... It was some other piddly nonsense reason, you know, just a bunch of junk. You know, yeah. it was, 
It wasn't like I destroyed the courtroom or anything like that. You, you have the right to remain silent and not be a witness against yourself, unless, of course, the judge, the judge asks you asks a question, question, in which case he'll throw your butt in jail. <laughs> right, because I wasn't being a witness in that case. I was just being sentenced. And so, yeah, I went to, uh, to jail for that, and uh, it was a 90-day sentence, so I got three contempt charges, uh, so 30 days apiece. The actual sentence for the case was four days. So I went in, and uh, in that case, you know, these judges just want to be obeyed. You know, they just want you to bow to them. Yeah. And so ultimately, that's what I decided to do. Uh, I'd gotten word after the weekend in jail that the judge was going to give me a right of allocution hearing because he apparently forgot to do that at the first moment of the contempt. So this right of allocution is your chance to beg. Basically, this is your chance to explain yourself in the instance of uh, contempt. So the judge is obligated by the system to give you that right of allocution. So because he supposedly forgot to do that, they had a, a video arraignment where I was able to, you know, beg and uh, eat some crow in front of the judge, promise to be a good boy in court and follow the rules. And he let me out as uh, as a result of that. So the 90 day contempt went down to zero days after I gave the judge what he really wanted. Well, there you go. Yeah. And I mean, this is the thing. It's 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 a it is a means by which to coerce compliance. That's it. And so there was yep. the there was the case not so long ago of this woman who um they wanted to circumcise her son, if you might recall, right? And there was all these um, intactivists, as they're called, the anti-circumcision activists. Oh, yeah. And they had managed to put this off a number of times. And eventually they said, sign the order allowing your husband to have your son circumcised. And she said no. And they said, fine, you're in contempt. And they put her in jail. And yeah. they held her there. Until she'd signed until the order. Until she, she signed, signed it, right? it. And they called that her agreement it's voluntary <laughs> you have to agree to this or we'll jail you well now yeah. see w wasn't the whole circumcision thing wasn't that part of their original like marriage agreement or something when they were going to have kids i i can't remember like why he was pushing it so much on her and then she decided to change it i have a i, I have a hard time imagining that circumcision was in a prenup Right, but right, I know, but it, it was it was some weird like thing that he wanted done, and she was okay with it, and then all of a sudden she wasn't okay with it. Like, yeah, that she I never she got really... to finding out about circumcision is what happened. Sure, yeah, yeah. She and... she went looking into how much of that skin they were removing, how many nerve cells are in that, and all the deleterious effects right, that it and, has and on it, a male body. Yeah, exactly. And it's circumcision is a horrible thing, but yeah. Yeah, and so and so once she got red pilled on circumcision, she went she went loony, uh, not loony, but you know went you know radical on it and was like, no, I won't let you do this to my son. And yeah. she you know kept him away from the father, and then she was charged with like custodial interference and all this stuff. And eventually, what they did was they held her in contempt, and they said, well, we can't circumcise your son without your consent, ma'am. So we'll just hold you in jail until you consent. They did the same thing with Jim Johnson. He's an early mover here as part of the Free State Project. And uh, there was an, a multi, uh, like a multiple mass civil disobedience kind of arrest thing that happened where I was arrested and uh, 11 other people, including Jim Johnson, were arrested for basically being at the jail. We hadn't trespassed or anything like that, um, but they, they had told us to leave, but we hadn't heard us, uh, you know the message that we were supposed to leave. And then when the cops showed up, they just arrested everybody. Uh, everybody went to trial, and almost everyone was convicted except for one guy. It was all the same evidence, and so why the one guy didn't get convicted is another question. Well, it was because he had a different judge, so it's proof, proof that's completely arbitrary yeah. uh, system. And Jim Johnson, when he was convicted, he actually got convicted of a misdemeanor count. And I think he refused to fill out, oh God, was it, I forget what it was that he refused to do. I think he refused to fill out the financial affidavit because he claimed he couldn't pay a fine or something like that. Right. And because he would not fill out the financial affidavit, he was put in jail for, for contempt. And he was going to be held in contempt until he did what the judge told him to do. So this stuff happens all the time. Yeah. It's not an uncommon procedure. Like the people who are really outraged about this happening to Kim Davis, you know, wake up to the violence inherent in the system and that they do this to people all the time. Right. And you might be more upset that they're, you know, basically, you know, compelling her to renounce her deity. But, uh, you know, this shouldn't happen to anybody, ladies and gentlemen. You tell somebody that uh, because, uh, you know, just some guy in a robe, some dude in a dress told you to do something and then you're going to be jailed until you comply with his order. And it's not even something that's necessarily established by the legislature it's not it's something not. that's established in the constitution you can't repeal contempt right it's not possible there's no statute i looked it up i, I mean i looked for uh, contempt in the statutes of new hampshire it doesn't exist 
You can't, I don't even think that you could, uh, it'd be interesting to see what would happen if they did a constitutional amendment. Maybe then you could do something. Let's go to Donna in Washington, uh, listening to KMAS. Uh, hey, Donna, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, I just had a comment. Uh, yeah. This woman down there, she's such a Christian and believer and stuff like that, but I just heard on another radio station earlier that she's been married four times. I've heard that she's been divorced twice. She might be in her third marriage now is my understanding of it. From what I understood was that she divorced husband one, married two, divorced two, married three, divorced three, and remarried the two. second Oh, she's guy. had three divorces then. Right. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was two divorces. But she okay, remarried so. this her second husband. Yeah. Supposedly. So, and look, I'm not surprised to find some religious hypocrites in the world, right? I mean, this is going <laughs> to oh, happen, yeah. okay? I mean, I've said before, it's the straights that are destroying marriage, no question about it. Stop with the sanctity garbage. But at the same time, ladies and gentlemen, to go throw somebody in jail because they believe something is sick. Hey, Donna, I, you probably were going somewhere with that, so stand by. We will uh, come back, talk to you, and you can join us here. Here at 855 free. Moments remain. Just enough time for you with your thoughts. If you want to swing in here, it doesn't have to be on this topic. You can bring up anything. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. You can also join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. If you own a business, you know incorporating can be a smart way to protect yourself and your assets. So the question is, why haven't you incorporated your business yet? My business? It's too small. Wrong. No matter how small your business, you run the risk of losing all your personal assets, your car, your home, even your entire life savings if you're not incorporated. Incorporating is very complicated. Actually, incorporating is easy and fast. You can do it in just 10 minutes. Call now for your free guide from incorporate.com. 1-800-945-8645. I need a lawyer to incorporate. That's really expensive. You don't need a lawyer, and we don't offer legal or financial advice. Incorporate.com is a service company whose only mission is helping people like you incorporate safely, easily, and quickly. Find out how simple it is to protect your family and personal assets by incorporating. Call now for your free guide. 1-800-945-8645. 1-800-945-8645. That's 1-800-945-8645. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. We, we, we are a survival company. We manufacture our own line of Level 3 and Level 3A body armor. We proudly make our armor 100% in America. We have the best prices in the nation, about $125 cheaper than our nearest competitor. All lab certified, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Psalm 31.3. We are Fortress Survival LLC. Dot, dot, dot com. By now, you know the smart way to buy emergency food storage is calories per dollar. Ready Supply Foods sells you 50% more food for your money. GMO-free, 25-year shelf life, great tasting, and free shipping. You need 2,000 calories per day under ideal conditions. Most 30-day kits don't have enough calories to sustain you for more than a week. They just don't have enough nutrition to do the job. See the comparisons for yourself at ReadySupplyFoods.com. We are the new leader in value and quality. Go to ReadySupplyFoods.com today. Do you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS? Then get on board with the tax admiral and let us steer your way to financial freedom. The IRS is the largest collection agency in the world. They can freeze your bank accounts, seize your car, home, will garnish your paychecks and benefits. Don't take on the IRS alone. I can fight for you using industry secrets that can help stop the IRS. I'll cut your penalties, slash your interest, and reduce your overall tax bill. Sometimes I can even get it zeroed out completely. We're an A-rated company with over 30 years' experience helping people clean up their mess with the IRS. And we have a 95% customer satisfaction rating. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS, are facing an audit, a lien, or levy, then call me right away. Call 800-287-7180. Again, that's 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. 800-287-7180. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. 
I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Yeah! Join us here toll free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Have you ever been hit with a contempt charge? What was the longest you had to stay in jail for that? I mean, we've been talking about these insane examples of contempt, and they're all mostly, you know, awful, so petty. I, I've had friends of mine being arrested for contempt for wearing a hat in court. And I've also been in courthouses and courtrooms where the judge doesn't care. Uh, Shire dude's uh, hearing in, in Manchester, he's wearing a mushroom hat in court, <laughs> and the judge in Manchester doesn't care about that. So, you know, it all depends on the man, the whims of the man in the robe. And uh, we can come back and talk more about uh, contempt here. I want to tell you about ExpressCoin. It is the best choice for getting cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're licensed money services business, and you can get cryptocurrency with money order or a check. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, get started at ExpressCoin.com. You can even do it from your smartphone. Just download their app over at ExpressCoin.com and use coupon code FTL. And you can get up to $40 worth of your cryptocurrency with no fee at all. That's ExpressCoin.com, coupon code FTL, like free talk live. Great way to go and get some Bitcoin and then take them over and spend them at SaveItPurse.com and save 20% on everything, almost everything at Amazon. So go and check it out, ExpressCoin.com. Uh, our caller did just drop off the line, so oh. I apologize about that. Would have uh, loved to have heard more about what she had to say. Toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. I will just uh, if uh, to the thing that she was bringing up is Danica had mentioned it during a break is that the woman's been divorced a bunch of times, right? The clerk. Yeah, the woman who's being jailed, uh, Kim Davis or whatever her name is. Uh, you know, she's she's been divorced several times, and now she's trying to play holy roller for you know God's will in the marriage. Yeah. You know, and and she's a hypocrite, right? And and there's no shortage of that, of course, right? I mean. It's straight people who are so concerned about, you know, the, the sanctity of marriage really, while they run around on Ashley Madison and run up their credit cards getting guaranteed affairs and prostitutes. They're a bunch <laughs> of lying pieces of garbage. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's 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 a thing that uh, it, it, my, my problem here, and it should be the problem of all Americans, frankly, is that the Supreme Court is just completely out of line. So a 5-4 decision, most of these things are 5-4 decisions, right? We, all these really, you know, controversial issues are the Supreme Court deciding right down the middle. It's a split decision where almost half the court disagrees with the with the decision, but they've got nine justices on the court and so, you so, know, and once once because five people agree, now the constitution means this. Right. They're legislating from the bench plain and simple and that's absolutely blatantly illegal and nobody's going to do anything to stop it and it's just goes right, to they're show not force on what themselves. A horrific system that that we have in this uh But it's the best system in the world, Chris. It, 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 you know, I'll tell you what, it, it just <laughs> might be compared to other places. But now, you know, but in order to say that, you've got to compare yourself to places like North Korea, yeah. right? I mean, look, the human condition is not like a pretty thing for the most of the world, right? I mean, the, 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 the default human condition is rather violent and terrible and chaotic. Uh, and so the fact that, uh, you know, the United States manages to have a, a system under which we live in a relative degree of comfort, even if we do so with a boot on our neck, is a, and by, by many measurements, a miraculous thing, and I won't deny it. But uh, it's 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 absolutely um, you know the, the the judicial activism in the courts is is gotten to such a a point uh, that I I, I, I I shudder to look at it. I want to read a court a quote from Thomas Jefferson actually sure. real quick. So um, he says. Um, the Constitution meant that its co coordinate branches should be checks on each other, but the opinion mm. which gives the judges the right to decide what laws are constitutional and what are not, not only for themselves in their own sphere of action, but for the legislature and executive also in their spheres, would make the judiciary a despotic branch. Okay? That's a quote from Thomas Jefferson. He saw this coming yeah, quite did. a while ago, okay? Yeah. And this is the problem that you've got in this country where, where, where one of the many problems 
problems. Don't get me wrong. We've got our problems in the legislature and the executive, no sure. doubt. But the judge, the judiciary, is supposed to, and the reason that these are lifetime appointments in the Supreme Court is specifically so that they are not you know, subject to the whims of politics, right? They're not worried about winning the next election so that they can make unpopular decisions and they can overturn the rules of the, the, the legislature and the executive, right? Mm. But what happens is they, they are put there for political purposes. You have presidents making the appointments based on ideological reasons that have absolutely nothing to do with the Constitution, and they go and they shove these things down the throats of the entire country. And then the then in the lower courts, then somebody goes and disobeys the higher court, and they just say, oh, okay, I'll hold you in jail until you consent, until you go along with our arbitrary edict. And there's just no check on that power whatsoever. Nobody nothing, can spring yeah. you from the can spring you from the slammer once you've been held in contempt of court. And now they're going to hold this woman until she renounces her God. It's so sick, and I think you really summed it up there, Chris. And I think that if there's anything valuable that comes out of this whole Kim Davis uh, situation, that it is that people will learn a thing or two about contempt. You know, if you're paying attention to this story and you didn't really know what contempt was, like you just seen it in the movies or whatever, now you know a little bit more about this. Now you know what you're dealing with uh, in these courtrooms. These men and women who wear these robes have unlimited power, nearly unlimited power to take someone you love and put them in a jail cell forever. Our our friend uh, Sam Dodson, well, not you guys, because you never probably never met Sam, but uh, he was an early mover for the Free State Project, has since uh, since moved away, found a different path in life. But he went to jail here for 58 days for contempt, for refusing to uh, to give his name. Now, remember, if you have a right to remain silent, apparently that right to remain silent doesn't include you not going to jail because of your <laughs> remaining silent. You have the right to remain silent in your jail cell. Exactly. And so, you know, the real kicker was that when he was in there, I think it was about two weeks in, the police were able to figure out who he was. And I don't know, they ran his prints or whatever. They, they somehow did their investigating and they figured out Sam's name because he was in his John Doe up until that point. So they knew what his name was. But right. he stayed in jail for 58 days. He stayed in for weeks longer than that, another month and a half, until he was finally kicked out the side door of the jail one day, what? still wearing his jail orange. <laughs> they didn't even make him change out before they sent him out of that jail. So I don't know who sent what notice to who, but all of a sudden they decided they didn't want him there anymore. Thing is, he they knew who he was. I've been kicked out of class. He had joints than this, you bums. <laughs> and they even gave him all his stuff, like the stuff from the cell. So he came out with this big tote full of uh, you know all the detritus that he'd collected while he was in jail. <laughs> we had him in here that night and uh, you know it was a long time ago we had a crappy webcam and terrible lighting in here but you could still see him sitting in the studio sitting where Danica's sitting right now in his orange jail jumpsuit from jail. <laughs> it was pretty entertaining, but the thing is they kept him in that jail because he didn't tell the judge his name. So even though the police did the investigating and knew what his name was, and all of it was on file, the jail knew, everybody right. knew what his name was. The judge certainly knew what his name was at that point. It's just an attempt to uh, uh, obtain obedience. the obedience, just Pure to get the compliance obedience. out of them. Yeah. And um, you know, and you know, Jefferson said it a long time ago. It's a it is a despotic branch. This is a law that was created by the judiciary, enforced by the judiciary punished by the judiciary there is no there is no statute anywhere it's not even a law there's, it's just a power I, I mean aside from contempt i'm saying there's no yeah. d there's no law that you can read that defines marriage as whatever you know that that says you have to give two men a, a marriage license right this is a thing that was done by the judge this is not yeah, in the you, codes anywhere yeah. this is a this is a judge's decision and a judge's penalty there is no statute which we say what is the maximum penalty for failing to grant a gay marriage license that doesn't exist so all you have is this plenary authority from the top to the bottom of the judiciary going out, and it's it's judicial activism at its worst. It's horrible. Let's change gears real quick here, uh, Chris. You had a story, and we're just going to talk briefly. Just summarize for me. Massachusetts cop 
What did he do? Okay, so this this cop in um, uh, Millis, Massachusetts, he uh, was uh, driving down the road, and I don't know if he had accidentally gotten an accident and he was trying to cover it up or if he was just trying to make a hero out Maybe of himself. He was drunk. But he calls in over the radio. He says, I've just been shot at. Mm. Uh, I fire back. You know, it's going to be a maroon pickup truck on Forest Road in Millis, Massachusetts. God. And then his his cruiser crashes and goes on fire. And then uh, there's this huge manhunt. They're telling people shelter in place, which is mm. a nice way of saying you can't leave your house, yeah. citizen. Right? They've right. got they've got militarized police forces out there. It looked like the Boston Marathon bombing afterwards, wow. right? And they've got helicopters in the sky. They've got cops in camouflage going oh all over the place God. looking for this guy who turns out doesn't exist the guy made it up he totally made up this story that he got shot at how'd they figure that he made it up they uh, uh, he confessed to it at some point uh, there's there's wow. very limited details out but i mean it <laughs> seems like the guy just wanted to ma- be made a hero out of himself Incredible. is what i think because there's all this you know anti-law enforcement sentiment yeah. everybody believes the story that somebody shot at a cop God, for no i feel reason. bad for anybody anybody in a maroon truck yeah. And on that day. No. He's lucky nobody got killed. If somebody was right. in a maroon truck. It got shot by the cops. Yeah. Just jumping to a conclusion. Yeah. He'll put that guy on the hook for a murder. Check out ChristopherCanwell.com for more Chris. We'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com. Geico applauds your inner ride leader. An enthusiastic engine rev goes out to the biker in you who leads the pack. Even if that pack is a party of one, you're still a leader to Geico. To prove it, Geico will insure your motorcycle with great rates and 24-7 customer service. And with Geico by your side, you're never cruising solo, which means you've just been nominated as a real ride leader. Congrats. The smell of fine leather and trailblazing is in your future. Geico Motorcycle. See how much you could save. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Honey, why are there fish swimming in our bathtub? Aren't they cute? You need more omega. 